Hey guys, welcome back to the Apex Academy series. Uh, this is a bit of a new intro that I'm going to be doing where I kind of preface what's going to be going on in the video that I'm about to show you. The next couple of videos that you'll be seeing are going to be VOD reviews done from the Twitch Rivals tournament that happened on February 21st. Most of them from the uh, North American side might do an EU team here or there, like LG or something. Uh, the Twitch Rivals format is not the most competitive format by any means. Um, each team is going to be consisting of one to two content creators and one to two pros, a mixture of the formula there. I think anytime you take competitive matches where something is on the line and people are taking them seriously, you can always kind of learn something about that. I think it'll be a cool look to look at some players that I haven't seen before either, at least in this VOD review series. So I'm excited. So the first team we're going to take a look at is Team Lou, which consisted of Lou, uh, Doryuz, and Siegel. I was particularly very excited to see this team because you have arguably one of the best players in the world, uh, Lou. You have another Apex professional, Doryuz, and you also have Siegel who was an ex-Overwatch pro, meaning he knows his way around FPS games. So on paper, I really had high hopes for this team. I thought they were going to do really well, and they ended up doing so, uh, placing fourth. But I should throw in that anything I say in this video is not necessarily to be a criticism of any of the players in particular, because I think they're all very good. So on paper, uh, I was very excited to watch this team because not only are they poised to do very well with their lineup, uh, Lou doesn't stream his practice or competitive gameplay all that much, so it was very enjoyable to kind of gaze into the inner workings of uh, Lou's mind as he puzzles through uh, a competitive match. I had a lot of fun doing it. But right before we get into it, I want to make one last quick note. Uh, the Apex Academy series isn't meant to just be VOD reviews. Uh, it's a series that I eventually envision uh, having a lot more actual just educational content on like straight game theory, you know, stuff like how to push, uh, how to jump master, uh, whatever, whatever you can think of, quite literally. Uh, because I want you to leave me in the comments or Twitter or on in my stream. Uh, let me know what you would want to see videos on when it comes to just like straight educational content as if I were coaching you basically. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. It would make my job a lot easier. And uh, let's jump into it. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so this is game one. Seagull, door use. Yeah, so if there is, um, we Thank might you, have to go all three big buildings. That makes one of us because I don't. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll, we'll do I'll as many teams as I can. Seven yeah, games yeah. is a lot, so I'll try to maybe speed through it. I might not take as much time as I used as I used to. That's a good team too. I saw that they uh, fragged pretty hard too. Yeah. Do they have all of caps sure themselves? No, I think I saw one team go yeah, to the east. Yeah, you're fine to go to the east. Just make yeah, sure no one's with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, Decent little good. split here. Yeah, I just see epicenter, epicenter. Big little split here, actually. Perfect. Yeah, no one else is here. This should be good. Cool. Yeah. yeah, no one's here. That's All a very right, smart split. We, we, we will rotate in late here. Three teams in cap. Okay. That's good. Interesting. I'm I saw the one that landed fragment oh, east. I saw their trails briefly. All right, well, it's Geyser. Geyser. Yeah. Who's Doryu? Am I in there? Um, I believe he's actually an Apex player. Like he plays Apex a lot. I think he's literally on a team for Apex. I, I, I wish I wish I had control of the map. And I'm rocking flatline. All right. Ooh. Been seeing this one a lot recently, even in the Scrimmy Scrims. Um, so this is one of those. I think most teams that are well seasoned will probably and ha and and scrim a lot will probably realize that this is probably going to. I'm guessing again, no idea. Did not watch any of these games. Um, the two obvious endings are when when you're looking at the first circle. The two obvious endings here are uh, ones up here. There's there's one here, but I haven't seen this one in a while since like the new season. So I don't even know if it's like in there or if it's just not in the rotation at the moment but the obvious endings are there's one up here like right by this whole area um geyser yeah it's been ending right here where they pinked a lot i haven't seen the back geyser circle in so long uh, i don't even know if it's still here but um it could pull out here these are still not out of the uh not out of the question but um they got a decent little bit i feel like most like lower level uh, circle readers would probably read that would probably grab most buildings around here and again and I'm not like talking smack on anyone but this is the reason Pathfinder is obviously very good because you got this you can got the little bit of intel on where you should actually hold um I don't know how Lou plays I'm assuming uh because it is not his full competitive team that they're probably going to try to play a uh, place like within the circle or like their ideal scenario is they play within the circle and they just kind of hold out um, I'm sure it's probably a lot different with when he's probably playing with Rocker and Nathan. So don't be surprised to see them uh, try to get into Geyser. And if they can't, probably just hold one of the strong chokes, one of these two strong chokes, and kind of hold out um, all the other teams that are trying to rotate. 
I'll hold on to uh, the purple. All right, so we'll speed it up a little bit. Since it is going to be a geyser uh, ending, I'm going to just kind of build for a close range and poke. Good idea. Nice, good nice. Very good idea. I'll be very now. interested to see what guns Lou takes. Go I know when Lou played on FlyQuest, they were, FlyQuest was not opposed to running three scouts, so don't be surprised to see uh, a lot of scout yeah. gameplay out of Lou here. Doesn't take it, okay. Yeah, it's on the first floor of the building. You can touch that. Interesting. Oh, I found a PK. All right, we're good. Huge. Um, I'm going to drop... I mean, Havoc's good, too. ...scout, and I'm going to hold on to the purple light mag for you, Seawolf. Okay. I'm guessing he didn't take it because he probably doesn't have a lot of ammo to run that loadout. Double R9 <laughs> scout. Choose the through fucking ammo like crazy, and I think he only has, like, a stack of light, so... Uh, Havoc isn't a bad choice for him to go with here. He wants a PK, right? Yeah. I think Lou... Uh, if I remember correctly, I think Lou does like his scout PK. Which I think a lot of people, a lot of people are afraid of scout PK, but with some practice, it's really not like that awkward of a loadout. Oh, perfect. I might, I might grab this. I'll grab the other one inside right Yeah. Another PK up here as well too. Yeah. So I think I was, I think I was right originally. I think that's why he didn't run it because he just didn't have enough ammo to run it. Which like is very, is definitely a very solid and viable thing. You have to be very, you actually like have to be very smart about, and I say this in a lot of my other VOD reviews. You got to be very smart about the weapons you pick for the circle that you're gonna run. Um, for the position you have in mind that you want to play, there's so many factors into it, and your weapons need to match the situation. They need to match the situation. Alright, so they're pretty good. I mean, they're working out here with three blues, a gold helm on the jibby, very big. Uh, it doesn't look like they're really pushed for time, so I don't think they'll be playing for middle circle. It looks like they'll be playing edge and just trying to secure as many kills as possible. I mean, this is pretty, a pretty fragger lineup. I haven't seen much of Doryu play, but I think we all know Seagulls is a pretty cracked FPS player. And then we all know what Luke can do. So, looks like they are not rushing for the middle of the circle. They're taking their time, which is good because it means they can loot up. And Lou's also a very good Geralt. Yeah, yeah, oh, so, my guess here is they'll probably try to... They'll probably... They're not going to go for the dead center of the circle. They're probably going to play a power spot along this, like, ridge line. There's a lot of spots here they can play to fuck over any other teams. Um, obviously, either the choke is a very good one. I think this choke is a little easier to hold than this one. But this one also could potentially... This one will make it harder for them to rotate in the future. They know it's a geyser ending. So, this one might seem more ideal. I don't know what gun seagulls and Doryu are running. But uh, if they are all running long range, then this this choke becomes a lot easier to hold. But the only problem, so like it's easy to hold from this side. The only problem is this choke is so exposed to the rest of Geyser. So if they if a team like pushes them back into the choke, they can very easily get pinched and fucked. So it's possible to play here. It's a lot harder to play here than it is to play here. Uh, this one is way 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 safer. I'd be curious to see which one they go. Um, if if Lou, I'm assuming Lou is trying to play this really smart. I'm guessing if he's going to play either of these, you'll play this one and then just kind of like slow rotate and push whatever team is here out. We shall see. Yeah. It could either, it could pull like somewhere over here, here. Like there's quite a few circle endings. Oh, close to us, close to us. Here we go. I have to, I don't think there's a way for me to like manually change the speed. So we got to go do this. With you, with you, with you. On the left of the rock. All right, so the team's already holding this. It's an awkward like spot to hold, but you can for sure. It's really, yeah, this spot that this out. team is holding yeah, is yeah. very hard to do early game. Because anyone can be anywhere. Oh, right. nice yeah, fucking shots. Them. What the hell? They're getting thirded as well. Yeah, All right, so we got, we got a team up in that choke. I'm doming us. Very, uh, very early dome. All right, let's move back. Follow me, follow me. Follow but it's me, a good one. It allows them, it allows them to assess the situation. Uh, figure out whether or not they want to take the fight. Obviously, I can, right there, I can tell Lou's trying to play super fucking safe. Smart of him, too. He doesn't want to get involved in any big fray. He's worried about getting pinched from behind right now. So he's, I think they're probably... It seems like they're just either going to play back here. Again, I'm guessing. They're going to play back here uh, to watch anyone rotating behind them or coming in on those shots. Or they might just go around and I don't want to get caught out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good disciplined play. Yeah, we get easily get third and fourth. Big right. Very, very uh, conservative bubble there, too. Very conservative. But it's better to, I, I think sometimes it's better to be safer with your bubble than, than sorry at the end. Because dome buys you time, you know, you don't have, you're not pushed or like pressed to make a move with when you throw a dome down uh, this early. There's no way, unless I got a knock right there, like right when we started shooting at them, there's no way I was going to That is a good call. Ominous, thank you for the host. It seems like most teams are reading that this is going to be somewhere around Geyser though. I, I you do have to remember, here? every team has at least one, uh, it seems like every team has at least one top pro player on them. Anybody need that? Nope, I'm good. Anybody need that? I see a team up top. Uh, I will actually... Fuck, I really wish my, I had charged my headset beforehand. Holding my head over here is less than ideal. 
We'll actually tra trade with him for now because he, we need to give him for his ult. We need oh, his ult. Oh, for the ult. Like yep, yep, yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, here you go, here you go. Yeah, Cycling yeah. gold helm, always a good idea. Always smart. All right, so I think now, basically when you're in a situation like this where you couldn't get whatever you wanted in the beginning, um, very heads up play, very smart. Fre oh, Frex getting a knock on Zoms. Bullying 20th place, not very nice of you, Frex. I'm very curious as to what happened there, but anyways, like I said, that'll be an icing on the cake type game. Anyways, um, very smart from Lou to immediately disengage and rotate around here. So now their game plan, and this is basically what you do uh, when once you can't get exactly what you want, is get in, but don't necessarily, I, I doubt, like Lou doesn't ever take weak spots. This is like a very big thing. A lot of people all ask me a lot in my chat, do you take like, do you just go for like the deepest point of the circle or what? The best way to answer every situation is different, right? But the best way to answer it across like the general average is go for the closest spot that's really strong within the circle. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they sit up here on this hill right up ahead of them. Uh, this is a really strong spot, has eyes on like everything around them. Uh, they can third party freely, very strong. They can stop people rotating over then, here. Uh, let's see if we can get into this building down here. All right, this is taken. This is actually a strong building too, only because so can try, nobody would can, put, can push this without dying. Yeah, like the actual building itself sucks, but nobody can push it without dying. So taking this early secures you a lot of placement. Yeah, looks like there's team up there. I wonder so they're basically just gathering information, using their height, seeing where they can go. This isn't a bad spot for them to hold here, but I'm, very, I'm curious. I don't, I don't know what lose. We might have like a late play style is. Yeah. All right, come here. I'm gonna yep. try something. I want you to go, yeah. I want you to zip all the way up to factory side, and I want okay. you to see if you can go hit that beacon. But just be, I like it. Just be, yeah, just make I sure like that, it. Um, he's gonna go by himself. Make sure there's no one around you. So beacon here is smart. I'm looking around. Beacon here allows them to, nobody here, maybe like one other team possible are gonna have the next beacon. So them grabbing this beacon will give them such a more heads up play or more informed play on where they need, what parts they need to be aggressive about. Because from here on end, if you're any team within these circles, um, after every circle is revealed, every team's focus shifts a little bit into what they need to actually like try to win or what they need to hold off. So them being able to be aggressive and knowing the game plan a lot earlier ahead of time than every other team, because if they hit this beacon successfully, they'll have two minutes ahead of every other team on what they need to do for the next circle. So, uh, nice right, little, nice little cheeky beacon play here. This is the power of path. Just like the, be literally just the beacon alone. Okay. All right, we got the next circle. I mean, even though it looks super fucky, there's a very low percent chance it goes over here. I mean, it can, but it's a very low chance. It, it, all this circle says right here, all this circle says is that the, and I've, I've been seeing this one pop up a lot and it's so fucking bad. All this circle says is that it's gonna be probably one of the fucked up ones like halfway cut up through here. Like the next circle, like the the small circle is gonna be like fucking like this, so don't be surprised to see Lou's team. Lou knows that. Lou knows circles better than I do. This guy's actually insane at reading them. Uh, don't be surprised if Lou wants to. I mean, it's gonna be so hard to work into any of this because this is already so fucking congested, more than likely. Um, I'd be very curious to see how they play this. Um, they could just stay here and play super edge and then force fights later on. Because the one thing about Geyser is like it's so open that. Later on, like once this circle of reveals, or once the, once it is this green circle, and then once the next one reveals, there's going to be so many fights popping off, more than likely. Everyone fighting for something that, like, you actually have a lot more free real estate than most places to move. Um, that's It's a really interesting thing about Geyser. I actually kind of like Geyser endings. I think they're a little bit fun. I know most people hate them, because if you're not there, it kind of sucks. But there's actually so much going on that, like, rap plays are a massive potential in Geyser. Um, but there's just so much action that goes on right after this uh, green circle. Uh, well, that pull's kind of high. Actually. Yeah, it yeah, just come back. You can hear you can hear the disappointment in Lou's voice. So it sucks. Obviously, he wants to get in. Oh uh, yeah. But this is still a strong spot. Yeah, like this can screw over a lot of other teams. So the important here, here, thing here right, now right is that they don't right uh, lose too much yeah, economy. Right they don't get like overcracked where they're using Perfect. way too many meds or anything. I mean, obviously they have a Watson, so that should be mitigated a little bit. But yeah, uh, ammo and stuff like that, they definitely don't want to run out of. 
How do I like uh, a Watson I Gibraltar Pathfinder lineup? I actually think it's really good. I think this is. I think. I think this lineup is a lot more the play. I think this lineup is a lot better for teams that prefer to play inside the circle, like that prefer placement uh, and holding strong positions. You don't need a Wraith necessarily. Obviously, Wraith has the complete oh shit button. Let me get you out of every situation, especially with a Jibby Dome right on her portal. You can get out of literally anything or you can get into almost anything. Um, but the difference between a Wraith uh, Jibby Comp and a Path Jibby Comp is that they can't late rotating a lot of late rotations with this with a wraith jibby like later on in the circle happens with um the wraith ports somewhere like the, the way they put that comp plays out is the wraith ports somewhere that if there's nothing available the wraith ports somewhere that's like something a little bit suboptimal but the as soon as the jibby goes through the portal he, he basically stands right on the portal he immediately drops the dome down underneath them and then even though they're in a really bad spot they have like what 15 seconds by that time, a lot of other teams are dying or they have time to poke at someone else uh, in like a really, really cramped circle and secure themselves a spot. It basically delays and buys your team like a f like 15 to 20 seconds, which is huge when you're rotating because sometimes that's all you need to find a spot that's open from a team that maybe just want to fight and you can quickly third party them and clean them up and stuff like that. That's how you play Wraith Jibby late game. Path Jibby, on the other hand, is this one's going, you can't play as late as you want. You still got the dome, obviously, but you don't have the freeform movement of Wraith's, um, Wraith's portal. So this this team comp is heavily reliant on all just playing very, very close together and just making sure that they uh, are their team fighting is very good. I do like this comp a lot. I think it's a lot harder to run than a Wraith. Um, if you throw in a Wraith, it's more of a crutch in a, in a comp like this. All right, we're going to go on. All right, so to recap... Um, you could tell, so if this was a Wraith Jibby team, I think Lou would be a lot more comfortable playing this position. Um, you, cause you could tell he immediately, once the circle goes, like this, this comp really needs to get in and hold a strong, like a, a, a defensible spot. Again, this spot that they're in is really strong. It's good for information. It'll allow them, it will give them a good idea of where to rotate next, but, um, it's not ideal having a path instead of a Wraith for this. This is where like Wraith would excel, right? When you, when you don't get the rotation you want. Wraith gives it to you, basically. But, I mean, they can still make it work. Lou's nuts, obviously. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's very smart. Lou's, like, not just a cracked individual at the game. Lou is very smart about the game. I know you guys don't ever, like, get to, like, sit there and listen to him talk about game theory, but he's a very, very smart individual when it comes to the game. Cuddly Kitten, thank you for the 1,000 bits. It's about time I did more, right? Anyways, we're gonna continue. Again, let me know if the audio bounce is ever off. Right, right, too. We'll turn on this audio compressor on. It seems to be a little bit better. Oh, this. yeah, that little chunk right there. Yeah. So, Lou, right now... Like we're in the next ring. Right now, they don't it's need up. to worry about anybody in the circle. Right now, all that matters is that they... Uh, make sure they're, there aren't... They kind of take account heal? of all the teams around them, back here. And they make sure that no one's getting any, like, cheeky, like, rotations, not getting close uh, to them. Everyone knows they're there. Because you don't want to get pushed randomly in a house like this. Because some people will actually... Mm, okay. Okay. Part of that. Zach popping off in the kill feed. We'd love to see it. Yeah, we see, like, a good third third opportunity. We can, uh... So for all you amateur streamers, in, like, one of those spots. Uh, yeah, this is a really strong spot for very, very many thinking, This is one of those power spots. I wonder who this team is over here. I'm thinking maybe we can fight them. They can fight them, yeah. All right, so obviously the ideal for them right now is to get that house right in front of them, but it's, yeah, it's very unlikely too, to happen. Just so we can get them off this the house, is, team, the house that's I in front of them that they looked at earlier, like I said, is very, very, very difficult yeah. to push. Not because of the, the yeah. structure or anything, but yeah, just because rat, everybody rat, else is going to shoot at you. Any like right, houses in valleys are a trap when it comes to pushing them. Um, because okay, you will in, die. If you don't die, if you clean the if you clean out the team that's in there, a team will raise portal onto you and third party you really fast. So it's never a good idea to fight uh, for a point that's in the view of everybody else. Yeah, Especially on the get a chance up to the top of this mountain. Alright, perfect. So it looks like he's gonna go for so it seems like he's gonna go around. He wants to go for the choke. This is a smart this is smart. He will probably have to force this fight here in the choke. I, I think he kind of wants to go for this beacon as well. I think that's partly why he's going All right, so here. what we're going to do is we're going to see... I wonder if this building's taken or not. If it's not taken, we're going to hit beacon. I want to see exactly where the zone is. There it is. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I like it. So... And then... Lou has a very good idea of where it is. Um, 
He knows he knows it's probably going to be one of those circles that ends on the, on the wall. But the game can throw you for a loop, especially in these later circles. And sometimes, like, the, hitting this beacon could possibly allow them to find, like, the smallest sliver of a pixel of a spot that's in that's really good. So this is... Uh, it's always a good idea if you can get a beacon to do it because you will always like right at this point they are they are the only team that will know the next circle so that's massive that's really good information to have they'll probably Definitely have to fight a team in this beacons. in this choke mm -hmm. but there's probably a team the team that's in this choke un unless they're a jibby team playing edge they probably are also moving um potentially it de again uh depends on their style they might the only reason i say possibly is because one of two things can happen if you're playing this choke in this particular circle right here this ring ends at the base of the hill. So normally, if, if this ring was like pulled a couple like meters back, the team would play up on the choke and they'd make sure nobody is going up behind them. They're probably still going to do that to an extent. But because they can't necessarily, they can play late with the circle here, but ev any team around this area is going to look at them right here if they don't rotate early. But the flip side is, if they rotate early, they have teams like Loose Team that come up behind them. Um, so I'd be curious to see, I'm sure there's a team in the choke and if they might have moved it probably is smarter for them to move in a circle like this like i said because they can't just if something if shit goes fucking south they can't just double back they have to fucking they have to scramble for a spot somewhere so this is one of those situations where it's really rough to hold a spot and like and keep looking at out after your back yes here. a wraith a wraith here oh, would yeah, make their lives yep. a lot easier for sure madness they're trying to rotate out mm. tags because this is where, like, geyser circles, particularly, I mean, there's a lot of circles, but this is particularly where a wraith portal nice. is just almost necessary. This is uh, tough. That's okay. They're gonna need they might do, they might probably yeah, double back. Because, yeah, team at the house and the team the choke, that's not, that's not enough time. Uh, yeah, because, like, he just uh, did the voice call for it. Not sure. I'd be surprised if they go for this, because they don't have a lot of time. Okay. That's good for us. Perfect, perfect. Pushing close the building now. Yep, get closer. A 97 on one of them? Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. Yep. Dumb, dumb, dumb. 47. We're gonna, we're gonna push up on them. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna push up on them. Yeah, yeah. If that guy, I mean, I doubt that the guy was gonna. I'm ulting ahead. Yep, yep, yep. I'm doming. Alright, get in the dome, get in the dome. Perfect, yep, yep, yep. Doming inside. All right, get ready to push up on this and fight it. All right. Okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm breaking I'm their gen. Up. I broke their gen. I'm nading it, nading it, nading it. 57 Watson. One of them is weak. Path one, one on the right, right here, right here. Batting, batting, batting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually thought they might have gotten out of that only because they're high turn with poison. Yeah, that's tough. Team, yeah. That's so tough. Mm -hmm. But that's and that's where path fails. If they had a wraith, they could play it a little bit differently. It's tough because everything is fucking taken. But um, this is where having a path really sucks. If you're not in, if it, if you're, they admittedly also got screwed on the zone a little bit because uh, it is geyser, right? I don't know if we push that team, but the team still so I, geyser, I, I mean, the, the, the problem and the reason most people guys, don't like geyser circles they, they is because yeah, yeah, they uh, just it's, it's such I, a hard circle to, to work well, your way into. We need TP just to rotate. So I'm gonna play Wraith yeah. now. Yeah. Sure. Okay, this compressor I, is I making his voice it, sound really weird. Yeah. In a in a in a circle like this where it's so hard to work from the outside, it's, it, you almost need a wraith no, if you are TP, if you're running the path you have to be in there faster. Um, if you're playing a wraith then you can't afford to play a little bit more on the edge. But um, I do like this comp, but lose right. It's probably it's probably a little rough to play this comp right about in, in this tournament with people that he hasn't practiced with all that much. Um, Wraith just does what Wraith does. Wraith and Jibby together add more room for error than a path in Jibby, if that makes sense. It's like, I think the easy way to sum it up. We'll go to the next game. Any particular reason they didn't run with a Wraith? So this is actually the comp that Lou's team, Lou's actual team runs. Lou's team doesn't run Wraith. They run path Jibby Watson. I think Lou wanted to take that into this, but I think Lou quickly realized not having his teammates. Um, it is a very awkward play style for people that don't really play the game all that much. Next time Lou opens up the map, we're gonna be inspected. Yeah, I, def I definitely want to go third. Then can we go position for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's PVP's team and I'm coming over. Yeah, 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 coming over. I'm actually just gonna undip the uh, wingman. Get the loot after. I just have no scopes. Oh right, so King Richard. I, and I forget their I can give you a, a hollow. Yeah, yeah. I have a zip actually. I can make across for us. Oh, yeah, so triple X Cuddy. Yeah, yep, yep. And then do you need uh, the oh, yeah. site? Yep, here you go. What's up, Journey Court? You're welcome. All right, I'm with you. All right, uh, Luke. We're with you. Are they top? They're healing up in here. Yeah, they're okay. on the middle top. Climbing up. 
There's a blue armor in here. Someone grab that. Yep, grabbing. 47, 47 on a uh, purple. Cry. Knocks one. Nice, nice, nice. All done. Knock. I'm gonna burn that. I'm gonna burn him. Oh, you got it. That's a clean nice. sweep right there. I'm batting. Gold and carbine. I'm set to take. Nice, nice. Not I'm much to say. Very right clean sweep. Oh, triple purple. Most teams would have actually. Well, I feel like most teams would have backed off after the third party was like over and they had time to refresh. But another team. Yeah. No reason to still I'm covering, covering, you know, shake the trees. Anybody have a med kit? Can someone drop me one? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, all right, all right. I'm follow, holding, follow, I'm follow me. Follow me. Let's get to the top. Yep. 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 I could drop self for you too. I think that might be the solo to the team that they they didn't finish the old team. I think he's so, trying to pressure off and get banners. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I mean, he obviously yeah, yeah, knows yeah. it. I just haven't seen I, it. I, it would be as pushing. soon as he does all positive. Well. Yeah, if it was a full squad, they'd definitely be pushing. It is indeed a goat. I think it's just the solo. Yep. A human being, but quite a goat. Let's push that. Let's push that. Let's push that. He's on the team. We can do weeks team next. He's going. He's going below. Because I know that's obviously a very. You got him. Is it? Is it? I cracked uh, the Pathy. Pathy's low. Wait, he's who's the top, pro on top, top, King Richard's team? Nice. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. He's up top. He's up top. He queued. He queued. Nice. Nice. You got the banner? I'll do Red Sea eventually. Though. We'll, we'll work up to it, though. Can we instant get that? Yeah, yeah. I'm, go I'm going to Resume right now. That's just like two easy ass cleanups. Good Even stuff. Door, well, stuff, I guess guys. door you died. Listen, let's move here. <clears throat> How many meters is that? 89? Okay. There's a team on top here. Alright. Just go towards more capital, alright? Okay. We'll get you up. We're gonna have to leave oh, all the I, didn't, so. I, I haven't been loot? pausing for the map. Fuck. Scuffed streamer. Uh, are you gonna get towards more capital? Alright, so. Very, uh, very similar in terms of uh, rotating into this, but all right. So we got hmm. this one's this one could be so many different places. I've seen so many like newer factory circles lately, especially in scrims. Uh, this one could be so many different places. I mean, the obviously the gut feeling is it's going to be somewhere around here, right? But I have seen, um, I've seen the donut circle. I mean, I doubt it's going to pull this far down, but there are some endings right on the train station itself. There are there is an ending out here, like right on the track. I think that's probably similar to this donut ending. Uh, this could go a lot of different places, but obviously they're going to work to get um, Doryu up here. I'm probably right. having him double back to okay. his loop or to we'll all the up. loot because in this situation it would be silly to not go back to get that We're going to have to leave all that loot and stuff. Do you want to loot the... Are you going to get that one to your left or... I'm, I'm probably... Wanna, I'm going to get up... Get on so this beacon, that, yeah. You want to get that beacon? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hold on. Sorry on the back call. I, I mean, when I saw them... These guys. I saw them lock two and they full killed one, so I just assumed they By got that, the full I mean kill spirit. Both, but they didn't. No, you're fine, you're so fine. Uh, like, to be honest, I only saw the one two. It was The yeah. Wraith was crouched in the corner, so... Yeah. Like, when I went in there, yeah, like, I had okay. the Pathy to Absolute, and then she, like, turned to drop somewhere. Yeah, the one to our left. Dude, we can right here, there's a team. We gotta move, we gotta run. Follow me. Yeah, I gotta run, yep. Follow me, Seagull. Nice, right, I'm coming. This goes to like so. Oh no, okay, but that does work. It didn't work last time I did it. Like Alright, we, we got a lot more advanced reds. controls coming Yeah, but I want to see where they're going. I, f I have a feeling they're going for the world spawn, which is right next to the res. Mm. Oh, shit, okay. This is actually, this is probably, Top this two. is kind of rough because anywhere they res here, that team will you likely know try to contest. Because that team's also, like, they gotta act pretty fast on the res here because um, that team is going to stay up here. They're not likely to rotate through the west choke. They're probably likely to come back down here, so. If they want to get a res, they got to do it now. No, they, Otherwise, they this team is going to send way. from no matter uh, where. They turn yeah, they're wasting a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, they are. They're going that way. We can go that way. I get that they want to be safe, but... Who comes? Um, it's tough. You have to. You always have to take into account the teams around you. Like, what is your? what team is your most immediate threat? And then you have to anticipate where they're going to move as well. So if that team went for the if that team went for the drop and then they, they double back to this res, this team is 100% sending that. Because they're going to both go through here anyway. So, Sounds like they're fighting too. They are wasting indeed a lot of time, but There's obviously right they're on going the to try to get as, as safe of a res oh, as they can. Unfortunate. If if you guys can't res me here, nah, we're we're gonna get you res somehow. Nah, I feel like we just commit to. I think the initial call point. to go towards the epi res uh, was like a good idea, up. but up. Like if at the same time you also I can, have if to I get, if I get, uh, it's, it's far away from the action. But at the same time, you have to imagine there's probably a team rotating from there at around that time. I like to hold W, so. True that. I, just I think I think we're all like testament of holding W. I'm gonna get him up, okay? Why Lou fire. aim are so accurate? He's just really, really good. Portal for you. 
Actually, they're they're wasting a lot of time here with the res. Safe. But at the end of the day, they got a safe res here, so. They're not going to be able to get in. They're going to have to work take pretty TP hard just on the loose. edge game, even though they don't have a decent amount of loot. But, I mean, this team is a team of fraggers, for sure. Uh, yeah, we're I don't know much, too much right of Doryu. Uh, I, I haven't seen, seen too much of him, We're totally good. good. We're totally But honestly, Seagull yeah. and Lu are cracked. All right, I'm telling TP. So, they do have the fragging power to be a little bit more um, yeah. late on a lot of things. Remember, uh, your loot was left train, I think. Yeah, yeah it's inside and the then, And then when you loot, let's hit the beacon again, since the beacon's right Sounds here. Sounds good. And then we'll move in and we'll just, let's let's just push everyone, dude. Like I think we'll have a better chance. We're all three just like really good mechanically. I think we have a better chance than most teams just to fight. Yeah, agreed. Exactly. agreed. If we get if we get if we get if this all was our a, if this with, was, uh, just fighting, we'll I think we're good. If this is like a pro pro tournament, honestly, uh, they'd be wasting a lot of freaking I mean, time. But in a tournament like this, they have a little bit of leeway. Three. It's like not everyone's going to be the best I know player. That people in BR is like the camp. I hate to say, it, but like every team is going to have for the most part like a crutch, you know. And that's not being mean. That's not like shade at anybody. It's a fun tournament with pros slash content creators, so they're allowed to take their time ass. a little bit more. So I just like the whole <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I just want, I want us all to like that game. I don't want us all to feel like I want us all to play the characters we want to play, and I want us all to play how we want to play. I don't exactly. No, no, no. Very I, good I, call by Lou. You play the perfect game, and it's like you just get fucked, but if you just hold W, then at least you get to fight. That's it, yeah, no, at least you get some points while while getting he tried, I think he tried to impose <laughs> yeah. his team's yeah. point so Yeah, go ahead. Oh, and then he realized, oh, wait, we should probably oh, just one, play to our strength. There, there should be a lot of them. Any team, any team, you should, like, oh, I'm good on cells. I got, I got 12. Don't always yeah, fall in line with the meta. Yep, keep them Play what makes your team actually feel very comfortable. What is this? Because we did that Anybody too uh, for a GLL, the online it. tournament with Dick Gunn We tried to force <laughs> Jibby where none of us knew how to play good. as or it's with good. Jibby. So we just said fuck it and played Path. Um, uh, and we did yeah, fine. Let's figure out. We did alright. Oh, that's an interesting one. <sighs> no, right, yeah, does, yeah, 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 Doryu plays to... Apex. I know that. Go through that second jump yeah, point. Yeah, we'll, 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 just, we'll just figure it out. We'll, um, so it's, we'll play by, it's by two play. pro players and... Yeah, uh, I think there's going to be a lot uh, of teams already player in now, other like, FPS games. Spots in there, yeah, so, so we're, we're probably just going to fight. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, wait, this one isn't anything. No, this is new. This is new. Alright, this is just further zoomed in. Alright, so this one could be a little fucked. Um... So this ending is likely to be out here. There's like a ending right out in the open. I haven't seen it much in season four, but it was a lot in season three. Um, if I think it's the way Lou is heading, it seems like he already knows that. So the smart, the smart rotation, if it's not very, con is always to take the area that's not congested. Can I spoiler? Sure. I mean, it'll be easier to talk about. I don't really care. But assuming that it's this circle or any of these like circles this all of this is taken this late it's uh it ends where you pinged i didn't ping with it under bridge oh right here or like right here one or two because <laughs> uh if it's if it's anywhere out here first one okay so it's, it's out it's down here all right so when it's down, when it's a circle like this, um, anytime you're late rotating into something like this, very late rotating, it, it'll be hard to, like, this is all going to be congested. Teams will be all around the power spots here, and you have to understand that. You have to go for, like, the rat, rat type rotations. So, the way Lou is moving, I'm assuming he's going to try to kind of, like, sneak just around the outside edge and probably get to the least congested part of the circle, which is probably likely this area. Um... So anytime, anytime you're you're forced to late uh, rotate late, and you know where the next circle is going to be, like this, always try to get to the part that's just where a lot of teams aren't. That's what matters the most, because um, that'll in turn, even if you're not holding a strong spot, it will still be probably safer. Because if you're in that like deep pocket of the circle, do the ultra people don't aren't likely to push you there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's cover everybody, guys. Hell yeah! It's just like a ultra, like who the fuck would do that? Like who would slow rotate through tunnel, right? And then. You camp there and you wait for the Sing ring it. and you, you edge peek the whole way. Yeah, Let's just win our fights. Know. It just seems, I like it. It seems like a stupid strat. I'm down to try it anytime. Like, who the That's fuck would do that? The nature of the BR. Expect the unexpected. Very true. And I doubt there's anyone holding this. Honestly. I hear people fighting guys right now. Oh, perfect, perfect. People yeah. oftentimes will die and be like, wow, who plays like that? But if they, if, if a team kills you and you, they get away with it, they're still alive. That's a loadout. They all play. Oh, yeah, yeah. PK is the best in the game. That and Wingman, in my opinion. I feel like if one or two people have a PK on the team, it's like... It's, it, it wins fights, yeah. yeah it yep. Alright, let's see what's in front of us. 
So yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna play the, the the least congested the area of the circle. Fuck that spot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like they're fighting. That's something I can TP for if like if they start to knock. But yeah, we have yeah. all of this for free. Yeah, we can take over. No, Coco Puffs just knocked Jake. You just heard that in front of us. Okay. They might be fighting. They might push after they got a knock. A lot of real estate to work with here. I mean, I it's expected. Here. There's a team in here. Uh oh, is there? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch it, watch it. Yep, PK, what the? I'm, yeah, I needed him, I needed him. Pop a bat, pop a bat. I got a queue. I have no bats, I have no bats. If we can get to the cover, let's do it. Where are you guys I'll at? I'll pop in cells, I'll pop in cells. Beyond the rock. Come here, I'm gonna TP us to cover, okay? Okay, yep, yep. Tell me if you need me to drop it. Okay. I already dropped my own. You're good, you are. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're totally fine, we're totally fine. Yep, we're chilling, we're chilling right now. This is safe TP. If you need to take TP, do it. I he shot my arm around the corner. I'm good. Yeah, I just don't want to commit to something and then and then something weird happens. They don't have to make a big move here. They're Wait. not pressed. Oh. Uh, Wraith is low. She's cute. Can you take TB? Can you take TB? Yeah, take TB. I have self-res. Yep, you're good. You're good. Take TB. Take TB. You're good. Fim. I took it. I took it. Let's do it. That's mech. Perfect. I'm going to thermite it. Thermite it. Rim res, yeah. I broke one of the armors. Damn. Uh, go ahead and save it. I, got I you, agree I got with you. the TP. They're not pressed to make any big. They're, they're not pressed to make any big plays, so it's usually better to be safer than safe than sorry. Uh, that was a good TP, even though his team didn't take it right away. But obviously now in hindsight, you see they probably should have taken it right away. Um, that's just that's just the whole like you know they're not they're not all pros. They're not playing like they're not playing together as they don't practice all the time. If that was Lou's team and they were in that same situation, they all would have taken probably the TP and just dipped around. Because uh, the difference between a lot of pros and a lot of just good players is knowing, is literally minimizing on that time in between like, not sure if you should push or not sure when to cut your losses and run. Uh, Lou's, that's why Lou TP'd, he immediately was like, this is fucked, we're leaving. Um, and they, they stuck around because they're probably just, they're not as on like, quite on lose level and i'm not throwing shade at them they're obviously great players in whatever game they play but that's one of those things where that's like veteranship right there coming into play like lou knows immediately just cut losses and run make sure you're safe they have so much time they don't need their portal necessarily to rotate anywhere okay. uh they have a lot of room to work with just get out be safe yeah, maybe I should let you get it. I'm it's okay no it's okay, no, it's okay. Good, good. it could have turned it could have been a lot worse actually i didn't expect uh seagulls to just get knocked like that but i'm sure he probably they're pushing yep. on the right side window. Yeah, they're fired right. I'm you're good, you're good. Close, I'll help. I'm, just yep. after this. I'm gonna go on the roof. I'm gonna go on the roof. Right. Okay. Shielding again. I'm watching window. It's not a bad fight for this other team. For uh, I'm assuming this is obviously. I got hallway cover. It's not a bad fight for him to try to take. There. It's on the edge of the circle. No one's gonna come out this way, so it's a relatively isolated fight. It's not a bad spot for them or a bad fight for either one. I'm trying to figure out if it's two teams or not. It's no, it's definitely on one. Right? Yeah, there's one up top hill, I think. Oh my god. What the Almost f not. I'm just going down the hall. Dude, lose 2x wingman is crazy. I'm just peeking it. I'm peeking it. I keep trying to, like, yeah, use this to get, like, better at it. I used to be, like, alright with it, but I can't you use it. Really now. Control, we can rotate out I think we can fight. Actually, yeah, I thought. Well, that's the. No, I'm going to fight. Doryu is yeah. a. Take Tom this. Take this if you can. Take this. And okay, Seagulls yeah, yeah, is yeah. a competitive player, so he knows what it means. I'm grieving their door. Seagulls just, like, lacks. If anything, just lacks the game to set. Hey, watch my right. Because he doesn't play Apex, obviously, all that much. If at all. I'm looking for a pick. Yep, get inside. Don't pick the I'm, I'm selling next to my ult over here. Hey, I'm with you, Lou. I'm with you. I'm with you. you two right there right now? Yep, yep. So Come with us, Seagull. Like, ballsy. Okay, okay. Right one more, one more. No, no. Nice. Almost knocked one. Six on, uh, I got on. I got a okay. heal. I got a heal. I got a heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Very surprised. He's peeking, he's peeking. I'm marking staircase. Arcing. Ning, ning, ning. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. He's arced. He's arced. Got him, gum, gum, gum. I need to heal, I need to heal. Come back, come back. Yeah, yeah, do you have any big heals? Do you have any big heals? I do not, I do not, I'm not. God, I do not. I tagged on 100. Knocked, knocked another, knocked another, knocked another. Yep. I'm still shooting to you guys in tunnel right now. I'm not playing outside. I'm solo over there. I'm coming to you now. Yep. Reloading. Last one's upstairs. He ran outside, he ran outside. Perfect, perfect. I think they're trying to leave. Yeah, yeah, let's reset, let's reset. Get the kills yeah, reset, and reset. reset. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, if I was Mac, I'd be pissed there. He actually, like, I did not have enough rough. meds. That, yeah, that was a little rough. So many times was, like, for like no nothing. No big heals. Like I had like uh, I cells. A I knock on Lou there changes top, everything. Like, off the door, but, like, Especially I because Seagull actually wasn't pushing with them. I think Seagull was pushing from the outside. Uh, if if they knocked if they knocked Lou there and that was dangerously close to happening, all Max team does is they all bum rush door you down there and then they just win the fight. Like I I can't hate on Mac for for trying to take that pick. 
because it was a really good opportunity for one. He just kind of, I, I, I'd have to see his opportunity. I don't know if he just whipped the shots or what, but he hit a lot of uh, eights or 11s. I forget how much damage it does to Wraith. Are you guys back to heal? I didn't want to get all in for No, it's okay. It's no, okay. you're good. You're good. We played that perfectly. Uh, did you guys kill one yeah. or two? Matt, I think two. Matt got There's you. Down here. All right, cool. Uh, do, you, do you guys think I should take the PK now at this stage? Yeah, yeah. There's you're a team you're that you're TP yeah, by our gen. You see where our gen was? Uh, where we moved in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a team yep. over there now. I need shot hey, ammo. Really, really? Really? I do not. I have four cells. I'm sorry, four shells. Okay, good. Someone near them? Yeah, they're up top here. These uh, ported up. I think this team is trying to get a third party. Uh, do you guys have any more? Uh, do you guys have any syringes or big heals? I only have yeah, yeah, yeah. Two can we yeah. go up? Can we go up the hill? Can we go up the hill, guys? I that was that, yeah, yeah, that was a smart fight on Max. I, I can drop you some uh, heals. Execution. I need some shield cells. That's all. Come here, come here, yeah, come yeah, I got you on cells. They yep. pick Lou right there. They well, we gotta go quick PC. though. We gotta go. Yeah. Come around. I'm TPing us. I'm TPing us. Okay, sounds good. The TP, it's easy. Yeah. This is risky as hell. Okay, taking? Okay, this is exactly yeah, right. take it. Wait. Do they know this is here? We're good, we're good. I'm popping syringe. I'll drop you cells, Lou. Oh, nice. nice I wasn't nice. paying attention. Okay, Lou. Okay, okay. okay all I guess right. They didn't. Here, Judging by that, these. they didn't. Yo, there's a bat here. Do you need any batteries? I have two. It's okay, Uzo. Uh, just yeah, take I your seat. No take your oh, seat in the back 16, of the class. Oh, uh, there's shells on here. I'm, I'm splitting. I might, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go for PK now to the hem. Oh, yep, yep. I, I dropped all attachments. All right, so here's the plan. Listen to me. So this yeah, high yeah. ground right here is in, and that is the best spot in the game, and it's it's completely clear right here. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's so, go. Let's go. But we need to watch our back. That's it. Our back is our only vulnerability right now. Okay. And this a lot of this has to do with Lou reading the circle wall. He knew it was probably gonna end out here. Um. And that was smart. I mean, I I don't think, judging by the way they were surprised when Lou got those shotgun kills down here, that's very lucky. For him to queue, I, obviously he had to queue past the, the fence. For him to queue past the choke into that is so risky. I mean, it's unlikely that he gets down. You know, he just pops the portal with purple armor. He just pops the portal if there's anyone there on the other side, and he goes right back through. It is still really, really, really risky. Um... Because playing from here, it wasn't necessarily bad. They have a lot of good cover. This this area of the map right here isn't that bad. But it was a good call. Um, I think he knew in the back of his mind that it was going to end either like around this rock, like out here or somewhere out here. So, which is why he kind of made the call out to go out here. Obviously, again, you want to try to, if you can get away with it, you want to try playing the least least congested areas of the circle. This area is just congested, is most congested by nature just because it's at the edge of the map. Just and not a lot of teams are here. Play the back so, and watch it. And yeah, do you think you can? Because if you, if you watch our back, you can just queue back to us, you know what I mean? Oh, dude. Right, right. No, 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 no. Uh, Dory, Dory, yeah. no, sorry. Me, he's, me, he's, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> this he can just queue back. Very, he very, very good. Back they don't have to play here. They just like play up here or something. They have no reason to play this here right now. They can just wait. Do you guys have until the circle that? closes. All uh, they have to care about, perfect. and obviously Lou is as an IGL. And then, and then that you see this right here? This All is in zone. So if you're ever in needing of a safe walk. spot after this ring closes, drop ult right yeah, here. put ult right here where I'm standing. Perfect, perfect. And that's actually very, very, again, very heads up. He knows that he's playing with people who aren't as competitive, so he's immediately like listing everything they need to do. This is just good of an IGL period, whether you're playing with competitive players or not. I talk about this in all of the videos I've done so far. Always make sure your team knows what they're doing in every situation that you might be confronted with. And Perfect. I'm watching our backs right now. Now they all have. No, uh, they just all right, know. Right here's fine. Shit, yeah, right here's, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Hit the as fan. long as it's in the zone. There's people if fighting right now. Fan, if you can take shots at this, they just play the back. Right, yep, yep, yep. If it does, they know exactly what to do. Knocked one. Knocked one. Very good idea. Link. Nice, very nice. Always have a plan and then have like three contingencies. Uh, uh, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the right a little bit and, and make sure your team knows that too. I have zip for you too if you need. Now they're in just a super they're fucking them? prime power squad. I got yeah. I got my full kill. They are making a lot of noise here. They have to make sure nobody rotates from behind them, which I'm sure one of them will double back to do that in a bit. Watch across, watch across. Yeah, only thing is you can get hard scouted up here. You can get sniped from here. Oh, portal, portal, lay it to left, to left. Are they under? There's yeah, someone yeah, busted under, out there. Do not drop. Whatever yeah. you do, do not drop. Yeah, just hold, just hold, just hold. You're in their sight. That's a good it's spot. Just, it's that same. It's the rat from over here. I think. Yeah. I think it's either two. That's a good it spot to just. There's no way. To just chill with your rat for sure down there. He, he took that's it back. You guys, I was gonna say. Yeah. That's actually, I think it's only two. That is actually a really strong spot, because you are again. If anyone, if anyone pushes them from down here, they're just gonna die to a lose team up here, and it's gonna depend on how horny lose team is to actually jump down and kill them, because that, it's it's a good spot to ensure placement down there. <laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, it depends on how horny the team is above them, which we shall see. There's a full team here now, though. Full team here. Right now? Watch our back right yeah, yeah. Our back is our priority. 
Okay, I'll watch, I'll watch. You guys you guys keep range. Right yep, yep. range. If, if we get, you if guys we get zipped up on this here, board? we're sort of screwed. We can't let that yeah, happen. Watching, watching. So yeah, zone's closing. They're watching their back. That's all they need to worry about right now. No one's going to try to challenge them. Yeah, we're good. Anyone we're tries good to challenge them for this good, cliff, cool. they'll just die to everybody. Yep. So even though this cliff is wide open. Oh, that's a fucking great time to pause it. Oh, wait, you can't see, can you? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me, let me. I was gonna pause and talk about this for a second. There's a wraith right there. <laughs> I was just gonna talk about this high ground real quick. Uh, this high ground, like a lot of you might be thinking, oh, this high ground's like super open, right? Like it's not the greatest. You can just, like Lou said, you can get scouted, but it actually is so much of a difference in elevation that you can actually hide behind a lot of small hip, like hills and stuff. It's actually really, really solid. What a fucking time to pause, by the way. I found a rat over here. Okay. One rat. Oh. Right here, right here. He actually jumped for it. I guess they yeah, he ran away. Yeah, can you send me zip? Can you send me zip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming around, coming around. I got you, Lou. There you go. So I don't know if he did it for this reason, but him going all the, like wide out here to go for the zip, I'm, I'm thinking he did it on purpose. Again, Lou's a very methodical player, despite also being flashy. Um, if you ever have to put a zip like this in the open, like to like bail one of your teammates out if you can get away with it try to do it in as open of an area as possible i think most players there would have gone along like the ridge line and been like yo like toss me a zip from up there try if you can get away with it put it in the as as the most open spot as you possibly can because if anyone goes to take that zip they'll probably take a lot of chunk damage from other teams shooting them and uh it's super fucking risky but if you know if a team like ports underneath and they like then they can take your zip I always try to put a zip yeah, there's people over here we gotta focus on out in the yeah, open yeah, so uh, you can easily just laser beam anyone that tries to take that. 21 uh, blue. Right here, I'm gonna throw my. So even though he made the call for this team to focus, perfect, perfect. he's, he's kind of he trying rock. to scout out. Yeah, 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 try and push, uh, push him out of there. There's one behind here. I feel like that was an accident. No, 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 a lot of a lot of players do that. I'm arcing, I'm arking them again. Going out like. Wait, do you mean the zip? A lot of people do that on purpose all right so listen to me what yeah, we're gonna do here the bridge is in after this okay because so you I'm always like have to think oh the fall yeah 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 the fall definitely wasn't on i think the fall was on purpose to try to to try to get him honestly but uh lou's horny like that i don't think lou ever does that in a major actual tournament but again lou understands that this isn't the most competitive tournament i'm gonna okay. tps on top of the bridge and we're yeah. gonna play the bridge bridge is that right. exactly that was you running i almost knocked one right here yeah, yeah, I know. We just need to fight them. If they have Gibraltar, yeah, yeah, we're sort of screwed. The highway wins. If they have Gibraltar, yeah, yeah, we need to drop rough. down into no, the bridge. I, I no Gibraltar, this is rough. Right now. Yeah, no, no, no. But if they have Bubble, then we have no cover on the bridge and we're God, fighting someone right. on the bridge. Right, we just have to commit to fighting them. Yeah. Exactly. The only way you ever can beat like a Jibby team that's like fighting for a top, uh, top high ground like this with the track is if you have to get them to use their Bubble ultra defensively. So you have to like say they try to take the spot. You have to get like big damage on them to force them to play inside a bubble and you can brute force the bubble if you can get there fast enough and just try to win their bubble. But other than that, it's no no Jibby makes this a really, really I think hard fight. Yeah, there's if they Gibby do over there. Them. On the bottom or on the top? On the the bottom left. Uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Or make the, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, any team that bubbles. Oh, if you're I'm doing Jibby versus Jibby, any team that bubbles first perfect. is probably gonna lose. I'm watching, I'm watching. Watch out, Nate, Nate, Nate. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have to. Nice one, nice one. Can we get that kill? Yeah, 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 yeah. Need that or do what you can to get that kill. I have no nades. I have no nades. No nades. Don't kill Harris no, Heller. Watch it, I won't know how to turn my Logitech C920 oh, webcam okay, perfect. They're, they're into a soft else. focus camera. No tags. I am standing. I yes. This is healthy. All right, we need to watch out for this team. This is this is our We're competition be healthy now. In 2020. All right. Okay. All right. I got you do. Ammo. Same. I only have 20 ammo. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I only have but a, their, like, their failsafe play, uh, play is still good too though. Uh, there's there's team have a LOS on us. I'm surprised that nobody's here. But then again, I guess they were bullying most people off. Uh, I think. Should I take it? Take it. It's you safe, can take safe. it. You can take uh, it. Can take it. Tell me, should I drop? Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell this. Tell right, right there. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Moving, moving. We need to. We need to play the height. Watch height. Come here. Come here. Come up here. He sees no Jimmy. You gotta fight these guys. We gotta shoot at them. 100 percent true. Also, also there, we have to here. kill them. We have to kill them. Yeah, yeah, I'm down, down. They're out of major. Max one. Grappling in, grappling in. Very, very smart call. Nice. Knock. To your left, to your left. From my life. Oh, from behind fence, behind fence. Got him, got him, got him. Good, nice. good, good, good. Peace. I'm sticking res, I'm sticking res. They're in yep. the best spot in the I'm game covered. right now. Well, in this, in this game. 
All right, armor swap right here. Armor swap. Yep, armor swapping. Armor swapping. No, I have a lot of bats. Come here, come here, come here. I got bats on here. I got bats. Oh, nice and nice. Okay, I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm med kidding. Med kidding. Xenox, no, dude. Oh, Xenox is the original rat, actually. The one that was below. There's a guy right here. Can you get? Does anybody have a need right I mean, here? It's pretty much free. Right, right, here. All right, he's gone. He's under. He ran, he ran, he ran. The last two teams are under. Last two teams are under. Ten kills. Yeah, but keep high ground. Whatever you do, keep high ground. Yep, keeping height. Keeping height. Keeping oh, we have we have a nut. We can drop. Last one. Dropping. Drop, 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 drop. Drop and fight. Get in the flank. 66, 88. Give me low. Let's go. Let's fucking go, guys. Yeah, finish him. Get his ass. Get his ass. Yeah, you guys actually did well for 2v3. Let's fucking go, guys. Big fucking game, though. Big game. Hell yeah. Good job, boys. Do you know exactly how that was a really last? high kill win? Wow. Yeah, yeah, seconds, hemlock, it's insane. Your hemlock is nuts, dude. Let's fucking get it, guys. I didn't know the hemlock That's a big game. <laughs> I want to see how many kills they had total. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're dude, actually smurfing. That rotate, though. Yeah, that was good. Fuck that was yeah, a good game. That rotate one. How many game. kills was that? I had, I had 12 kills at the end there. No I reason not I... to. So no reason not to try it. I do want to go back because that rotate was the fucking game, basically the game decider for them. Obviously they had to fight off a couple teams, but that rotate was basically the game decider. I want to go back and talk about it real quick. Kill yeah. two. We killed two. There's we another one down here. All right, cool. Uh, do you, do you they, it all could have went south right here, poor Mac. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. There's a team that TP by our gen. You see where a. Okay, it's definitely it was a very yeah, good call to expand portal for this uh, because you guys this, have they didn't I'll actually drop you cells, Blue. oh nice 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 oh. i can drop you some uh heals i need so, some shield cells that's all like i said it was a ballsy play but uh it's definitely worth going for and expanding absolutely expanding portal for this because they do have options right killing this team here allowed them to basically play all of this all of i mean you're not playing this over here but basically effectively all of this for free so anytime you have options especially like i, I see a lot of people holding on to portals uh when i when they don't need to when they're afraid and then by proxy they start using them defensively because it's the only time they see the opportunity for it don't ever be afraid to use a portal for a rotation you're not sure you'll get Fuck it, try it anyways. Because especially, if, like I said, if you have options, um, if they, if there was a, t if that team was all healthy over here and loot drops a portal and takes it back, says no, 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 don't go, don't go. They still have options here to play, um, and then portal will come off cooldown eventually. So this is actually this is a big call for the portal. Very good rotation. Uh, it's not like he never pigeonholed him into a we have to do this or else type uh, play. So very big. Didn't have to do it. It could have turned south. It didn't. Worked really well. They still had options otherwise, anyways. Next game. Oh my All right. God. Well, there's no right, beacon yeah. up there, so we're gonna have to yeah. late hit this beacon here. No Watson right, Caustic so instead. Hit there, right? Yeah. Well, well, no, 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 no. Just go to your spot. Right, That's normal. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I actually paused it right when Lou put it, brought it up. All right, so they're gifted, actually. Um, I still am very curious about how a lot of cap circles are gonna play out. I haven't gotten to see all too many in scrims because I haven't been able to watch every single one of them, but. This is very, uh, I, I, I've been enjoying watching cap circles. I know there's one, I saw one on Twitter the other day where it like literally ends on like the bridge here and that's, that's actually just terrible. But, um, a lot of likely cap circles that I've seen so far, um, I've seen the most common one now, I think is like right at the lip, right at like the gulf of this, like, uh, at this like point of the lava. There's a very common one that I've seen a lot here. Uh, I think this one was like a variation of that one. Um, there's obviously like a couple that are right here. And it seems like the circle might be leaning towards that. Uh, but we shall see. Um, this is, I mean, they actually got gifted here. Having to run cost or playing caustic in this one and not having to move anywhere really for their circle. They can grab the most prime spot that they think is there with a caustic and they can just roll with it. See, it's a capital C zone. <laughs> no, are you serious? <laughs> That's some luck right there. Big time. Oh, <laughs> Watch out for split. seagulls, watch uh, out for That this. time it worked. Yep, yep, yep. I'm, ho I'm holding my position. I'm holding, uh, I got this angle, Come. this angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Crack one, crack one gray. God damn it, Frex. Watch out for this. Oh my god. He didn't even miss. I'm dead. I'm down middle. Okay, I'm tipping you into the car. building. The Try and back off if you can, Dory. Zom's actually just yeah, 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 farm yeah, yeah, yeah. seagulls back hard. Back I'm on you, Lou. I'm on you. They're pushing, they're pushing yep, yep, yep. That was very ballsy. I'm surprised he. I mean, the, yeah, the further away you can get with TP, obviously, better the better. Oh, but... yeah, 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 yeah. I need a res. Yeah, if they can't push us, 
I'm, it's well, very ballsy how long person. he waited on that. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. He's weak, he's weak. I'm terminating him. Yep. Thermite, thermite, thermite. Fucking downstairs. Knocked him, knocked him. Knocked Zoms. Him, nice. Too, too ballsy. Oh, that beam, that beam, that beam. There's that another team. team. Another team. I'm trying to get out. Lucky. So, yeah, get that out, right out, there. So, this is why I was saying, it's, I found it surprising I that he waited on so on long yeah. on the TP. So, obviously, uh, the purpose of his TP was to create more zone. distance, right? Yeah, but that doesn't typically matter when you have a TP. Obviously, yeah, Zombs didn't take the TP, but... I, had such a good um, too, I honestly, when he was running away with the TP, I assumed he was just gonna... I assumed he was just gonna go back into the first building. Because sometimes, like... A five ten foot TP is fine as long as it gets the person that you're that's downed out of the out of action, out of the action. Cause like, I'm tipping you into the building. I'm curious how much time actually passes here. So like, I figured he was just gonna go in here. Like, he, I figured he was just gonna go into the skirt into the building, drop it so it's safe, so they're not like there's no line of sight on them, and then they just go for the reds immediately and hold it. Um, doing all of this. Going further, allowed uh, that team to push up on yeah, the Seagulls yeah, 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 and out, close the gap out. without them without them ever actually capitalizing on that time, right? It's a big time game here. Uh, you have to act fast if you want to get the res up, and they basically allowed them to catch up. If he, uh, I'm assuming um, as soon as Seagulls gets TP, they were like kind of right on him because they were shooting him. He was losing health. I'm on you, I'm on you. Right here. Yep. He says they're pushing, right? So they're finally gotten to the portal. Um. Because Zom's don't Zom's like destroyed him. I think from market he destroyed him from that one building that's like out here. That's part of the, that's the start of the bridge. If Lou had gone to like that first building and immediately dropped TP out of line of sight and gone for res, that would have been like an extra probably two or three seconds more to res than they ha gave themselves here. If that makes sense. Sometimes creating more distance yeah, with the portal doesn't there. matter. Sometimes just using the portal to oh, yeah, break yeah, yeah, line yeah, of sight and get into a house is better. They can't push us if I'm up. They're pushing. But yeah, I think the I think it wasted a little bit of time. He's weak. He's weak. I'm terminating him. That's I think I think that's the only, I think that's the one thing they probably could have done differently. They probably could have rest seagulls because he did again. You have to take into account that he got down from distance. So him extending that portal basically made them lose like three seconds possible to like to be able to reset, which I think ended up costing them the fight. I'm trying to get out. Um, un unlucky, but. When I heard him say I'm tipping you to building, I figured he was just gonna go straight to the first building. Bro, honestly. Seagulls, watch out for this. He said it like watch right here. I figured, yeah, I figured he was gonna just put the TP right on him, go to the building, and then just hold the building. I'm tipping you into the building. That would have been. I think that would have been almost a guaranteed res right here. Try and back off if you can, Dorian. I see what he was going with here. But. Yeah, I think they just needed to get him into that first building, have Doryu watch, like, have Doryu hold the angle so they don't push, and I think they would have been good. Ooh. I'm guessing this is his... his death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna team there, man. Yeah, nice try, dude, nice try. Alright, next game. Oh, it's gonna be dome, dome ending. Uh, so yeah. Oh, so ah, the infamous dome choke ending. Uh, it could actually be. It could it could be out here. Sometimes it ends out here. I think. But if you again, when you're reading circles, if you're playing path especially, you have to take into account. Uh, if you if you somehow know a lot of your lobby and you know that there's like a lot of Gibraltar teams, always always take that into account because most teams. Okay. Think about what most teams would see, right? Most teams see this first circle. Most teams are immediately thinking it could be this choke, which it still very likely could be. There are a couple endings back here, though. There's obviously this choke right here. There is this. There, there is an ending right outside this building, like kind of right all around it, but like mainly around this area. And then there's also an ending right back here by this building too. So it could be any of these. I think most teams are going to read it uh, by being one of these. So always, again, I, I said this in a previous video too. When you're playing path. Always take note of the next circle that you scanned and how much it pulls in a particular direction because that's where you have the strength over teams that don't have path. It's not so much like most teams know generally where it's gonna end, but it's the it's the fact of the matter that you can see like this is a pretty hard pull in the grand scheme of this greater circle. So reading this second pool is the bigger strength that you'll have over other teams. 
that don't that can't do that. So, so this one that is here. the big strength. Hey, there's a couple places that so have, but keep that into account. We're going to dome. We wrap dome. Yep, yep. That's a smart play. So that's a smart play because they can let that building, and then I'll end up TPing us to a couple different spots so we can play. Sounds good. So that's a smart call right there. He's saying that because obviously his team is halfway across the map. They're not going to get in there first. They're not going to get one of the power spots. So being able to wrap dome, especially given the circle, the way the circle is. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna be a dome. Dome ending. So gotcha. yes. So. He, uh, Lou knows that they're going to be safe for two circles here. Um, and he knows that it's obviously because it's pulling this way, it'll it'll be likely pull away from the choke. Again, I don't know. It could it could go back there too. But the, the circle is indicating that it's going to be out here somewhere. So it's smart of him to go dome here. Because again, most people are going to go for this big area right here down the middle. Or, or spots around it. Um... I don't think a lot of teams are going to stay dome because most teams would probably have to rotate out after the second circle. But Lou is smart and knows that he can stay there for two circles and then they can find something else. There's no beacon there, unfortunately. So, so they're not going to be able to read it from there. Hey, there's a couple places that end, but regardless of, we're going to dome. We wrap dome. Yeah. Yep. He's going to... The fact of the matter is if they wrap, we wrap dome, dome, they have they have a lot of time to work with. Right now, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they can basically secure their back, make sure nobody's there. It's smart. It's it's again, it's playing that deep pocket of the circle where you're less likely to be pushed because of how many other teams would have to like risk their lives to even get there. So very smart. Uh oh, Doryu, just in time to watch you throw. Can you res him? D cop with the big wingman. I don't know. I was in the middle of scanning. I got shot. They might push. They're gonna definitely push. Yeah, res him. That's a very so like. So there's a little bit you could say about that. Like, obviously, like, Doryu here was... Oh, I totally fucked up can. the browser totally again. Can. God damn it. Obviously, Doryu here was uh, going for the beacon yep. kind of alone. Um, yeah. Which oh, is no, something no, you no, shouldn't no, ever no, do. No, but it's no, so no, no, unlikely no, no. that a Pathfinder, no, 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 no. like, right would come at this uh, I second. Know. I mean, obviously, people, scanning. other Pathfinders want push. beacons, too. But it's so yeah, unlikely resin. that you... you that yep. pick happens right there. <laughs> that's so... That's that's crazy unlucky. Um... Yep. But one thing that probably you should do in the future for any teams aspiring, make sure to also give your Pathfinder the best armor when they're doing. I'm a big fan of min-maxing armor swaps. Like giving, like for example, giving a really strong armor to your Watson when you have to rotate because she's the most uh, liable to die. Um, giving your Path the best armor for at least scanning beacon. I mean, they were playing a little loose, a little spread out. They probably didn't expect anyone to be here, which makes sense. But uh, the one yeah, of the they're few Pathfinder teams yeah, happened to be right there wanting to also snag that, that beacon. I can't, I can't. Yeah, that they're too. I'm just talking to the sense of this team. All right, Mo. Someone what, do you want a co-cast? Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Big well, decuff to you. <laughs> Wait, another team is actually trying to push this. Okay. I can drop down. Can you open this door? Fences? Yeah, yeah. They're in on me. Nice one. I'm dropping, dropping, dropping. Damn, Lou. I actually just fucking gave push it to Bronzy. Nice, 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 nice. There's Shoot one out. more. Thirsting. I'm grabbing armor. Go inside, go inside. I think there's another team yeah, trying yeah, to pressure yeah. us. Wow. Now, that's so uh, free. He can get up to the third floor. Yeah, I've heard He's about the, the, uh, the seagull yep. caustic traps. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I'll go third Damn. floor. Good stuff. Okay. Doryu's gets gets okay. picked for a little away. bit. Ah. And then it results in them getting two kills. Yeah. We'd love to see it. All right, go ahead and hit beacon. You're good too now. I think if you analyze Retsy's decisions in the last game, especially the ending, that's what a lot of people want to see, considering they want. I mean, I'll get to it eventually. There's a lot of teams that people want to see. Although, surprisingly, not many people said Retsy's team, actually. I'm going with what people want to see. A lot of people want to see Lou's gameplay because Lou doesn't stream his gameplay a lot. And Lou is one of the most mechanically gifted players in the game, hands down. What are, this, what are they doing? Wait, almost knocked one! Knocked one, knocked one, knocked one! They said, what are they doing? They're like trying to loot while I'm hearing, shooting I'm hearing them. Oh, I got, I got shot in the back. Oh, you see going Oh, door you. I'm getting shot from tunnel. I'm getting shot from tunnel. Making front again? Yeah, just heal, just heal. It's fine. I'm dead. I'm dead. I got his banner. We can't res if we win. Damn. Fast, I think. Are they They're inside. I love ballsy Lou is, dude. Wait. I got a full kill. We got two kills. <laughs> nice. You got it. You got it. You got it. Good shit. Okay, we're at threat. We're at threat. 
Yeah, I, don't, I don't care what we do now. You know, I, I can only imagine how pissed this team was after witnessing that. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, tell me that somebody was watching Max Perspective and saw that. They had to have yeah, been pissed. Yeah, You got that? You win these Honestly, okay. So, is this game that you needed three points? I think it might be that way, yeah. I, that was, like, it might, that might be a stupid play by most people's account, but, uh... Yeah, that was actually, yeah, no, that was smart. If, if, if Lou needed that one point for the threshold, that was insanely fucking smart. Um, especially because they lost Doryu already. It was going to be a tough, it's always going to be a tough game to rat as two. So losing Doryu anyways kind of further emphasizes to make a play like that. Especially if they needed only one more kill or one more point to get the threshold. That's actually a really big, that's a big, uh, big play right there. Big brain. Every time. I want to see that again. I don't care what we do. Next one. Here, watch it from the whole full part. I got so I do think a lot of this team fight falling apart was a lot of times, and I talked about this in the other two uh, other two games. A lot of times you saw every time um, they kind of like set up or they were in an, in a particular situation. Lou was again. This goes back to like strong eye jailing, and I'm not knocking Lou's eye jailing by any means. The guy knows what he's doing. Um, but I think like he he wasn't giving any commands here. He wasn't telling his team what to do here at all So I think they kind of played it a little bit on their own But I think it was because all he cared about was getting these kills I think it's all because he knows in the back of his mind all he needs is the match point threshold for this game Obviously they could have got oh wait. No, I think No, the format you have to get it first and then win one, right? You can't get it in the same game Right I'm, if I remember that's how it works yeah, so all the all that matters literally is that they got match point threshold. Literally nothing else mattered. So this is a very big heads up play. He played solo here and happened to get a kill for it. I really want to hear what like Ninjala or Max team were saying. They had to have been furious with what happened. Any team right there would have been like, we just got griefed. I don't care what we do now. No, that's that's actually an insanely big brain play right there. Very. That's a way better outcome than actually trying to rat us too. Because writing S2 doesn't guarantee you points. I think they have to get like 15th or something. Yeah, there's, time will be free. there's a lot of pressure on this side of the map, obviously, too. One team, there's a, there was a solo rat. I think he walked away. There's D-Cops team, and then there's this team as well. There's probably another team somewhere lurking out in the distance, kind of waiting to see if they can capitalize on anything, too. So a lot more teams than you would actually think in this little corner. Hey, you got that? You so win these honestly, that, that was the play right there. Did yes, you not play? <laughs> I didn't get invited. <laughs> They don't invite lowly non-partners like me, Sean. They, they don't invite non-partners like me. Obviously, obviously we're looking at a train yard ending here, or North train yard ending, 99 times out of 99. I have been seeing a lot of circles in um, pull out towards this area here, but usually the first circle is very much more. It would pull a little bit more to the left or the west, rather, if it were indicative of that. It could go out here. This has been a common one, but um, th we are looking at a train yard ending. Um, Lou's team has the advantage of being really fucking close and probably getting a very strong spot. Uh, there's been a lot of circles that end out here as well, um, particularly like here. Uh, I think I've seen one around here. I've seen one pop up lately a lot around here too. So uh, it's gonna be depend. We're gonna I'm gonna be listening in on Lou's call, see what he thinks he they should do. There's a lot of strong spots they could take. I am genuinely not typically a fan of grabbing one of the big cable cars early in the game unless you all have like scouts or something or snipers. Um, I know a lot of teams aren't. I think warehouse is one of the strongest spots to be honest. Like second floor warehouse is such a good spot to hold. Um, and it also has like the ending that has a couple endings right outside on both ends where it's really, really safe. So uh, I'm very curious to see where they go here. So no somebody, somebody would play tunnel early. Oh, play tunnel. Okay, that's what I was not sure. Tunnel is a very big spot. Very, 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 very big, big spot. Because obviously you cook any team from rotating. But it's honestly, it's you. I feel like every time I've held it in a competitive environment, I've, I've squad wiped at least one full team. It's a very strong spot. And it's very good because there is an ending right outside the tunnel. Um, that one gets a little bit difficult to play with at the end. But no, uh, yeah. tunnel here is really good. Tunnel's a really, really strong spot to hold. You cannot get fucked in tunnel if you were there first. They're rotating across. They're right there. Yeah, if you seems to be a lot of early action here in Cap. 
can't yeah, fight. Yeah, teams kind of testing each other. We can't. We got it. We can't hit Beacon either because all the teams yeah, from these. I'm very surprised they're not taking. They haven't rotated the towards the tunnel already. Get, just get somewhere. I don't, I don't care. Like, they've already gotten a lot of loot. Cover, I would have called to, like... Me. I mean, again, it's not the most competitive format tournament. Yep, cool down, cool but yep, yep, yep. I definitely would have called yeah, to them for them to just go. Like, right now, like, playing out here... Like, they, I, I mean, I don't know what Seagulls and Doryu's loot is like, but Lou definitely... I think, like, Lou's kitted enough to play Tunnel. I would have called to go to Tunnel a lot, lot sooner. Um... So, uh, the fact that they went out here just to, like, kind of loot and stuff... We, just, we need to just show. Queuing, 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 queuing over. Because now, now they're in the middle of like right, three There's different teams. Next to me too, right here. Okay, I'm with you guys. All right, come to me. Let's go over here. Yep. Best 25. Do yeah, I feel like they just gave up like a really good rotation. Interesting. Sounds good. Yeah. One other question, real quick. Why do teams wait till last ring slash circle to fight? Uh, because Zora. Um, if you are one of the f every team here is looking to maximize their most highest possible chance to win the game. And if you are taking a head-on fight against another team, you're basically throwing that shit out the window as, at a chance of killing them because every team is trying to not fight because they want to maximize their chance of winning. Ideally, in every team's mind, they want every team around them to kill each other off. With like, obviously, if you can get any picks to get extra points and stuff like that, that works very well. But you want every team around you to kill each other off because the, high, the longer you are alive, the more points you get in a competitive environment. I think 15th to 10th place is one point. I think 10th to 5th is 2. I could be wrong on this. Uh, I don't know if they change it for this format. And then every place after that is more. But anyway, but that's like the general format is you want to be the last team standing. The best way to do that is to make sure you're not fighting every fucking team on the map. <laughs> it All that matters is that you're the last team alive. Hey, um, There's a uh, team one here. I'm going to have to body block you if they start shooting. Yeah, get ready to body block me now. All right. Doing it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Now they're taking care of their door you. Oh, man, okay. oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's actually very interesting. So I'm curious now. This might make sense as to why. So I, a li like a minute ago, you saw so many teams around them and a lot of them were path teams. You saw a lot of teams around Lou's team. And I'm curious as how many teams got the beacon and knew that. That's one thing you always need to take into account when you're playing in a more like scrim or ranked competitive environment um, is if you see a lot of pathfinders around you even if you don't run pathfinder like try to read what other pathfinders do because if you especially if you don't have one because then they have they typically have information that you don't so maybe like that could have been an indicator to lose team that there are so many teams all of a sudden all around them taking all the best spots there was a team that took their fucking drop construction building that could have been an indicator to them that hey maybe the circle pulls here um and obviously it did. That's a crazy pool. A lot of gym teams can get fucked. There's probably going to be a lot of gym teams that aren't running path that are setting up in train yard and oh, they don't know okay. that. Yep, yep. Also, subsequently, if you are, say you are you are a gym team and your place, you are where you think the circle is going to end, but all of a sudden you see nobody around you, that should be a big red flag that most teams know that it's not ending where you think it is. So always, always try to play off of other teams as well. Put yourself in the other team's shoes. Try to figure out what they know. All right, we need to get further Study in. how the other oh, teams yeah. play. Going, going back. See yeah. you soon. <laughs> Wait, was this game reset? Should I just pa go past this? No was this game a wash? No, OP, just okay. Just, All right, so have... I'm just going to go past this then if this game doesn't even count. They don't have Watson fences. Like, usually ever. They're going capital. I... You got to pull off. Everybody go here. Everybody go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. Here? Okay, okay. Going here now. Uh, no, no, no. They're going sky. I don't know what they're doing. They're just super they late. They're going sky. OK. Oh, they're going for the they're beacon. They're going your building. What the? They're no, going for no, the beacon. Yeah, they're going. They're going for beacon. Yeah, what landed on it? Yeah. They're going for beacon. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. They, they yeah. landed on my ping. <laughs> you're totally fine. Seagull though. I don't know. I do need you to watch out though for. Um... Oh. All right. I haven't seen you know for Harvester being such a big fucking building. I actually haven't seen too many circles that actually end there. I see a lot that end on like the outskirts of it. I haven't seen like any that end like in Harvester. I'd be interested to see how one of those plays out. But this circle, by the way, a uh, quick tip on reading circles. Uh, if you're not quite sure if like you're bad at guessing where it's like centered, just follow the orange line to the, literally points to the center. Anyways, uh, this one probably there is a very common circle now that ends right out in this big ass open area. It'll likely be somewhere there. Yeah, the train is right next to you. All right, good. All right, I didn't actually talk about the strong spots of this. So this one's interesting now. 
again because uh, a lot of the topography of this area has changed. Um, this area is even more open. That's not in Harvester. It's like e this area out here is like more open. It's just got like weird hills now. Um, but strong spots here are if you can grab any of like the top second floor like little offices in Harvester, those are all strong. Uh, both of them rather. I think there's only two. I think it's only on this side. Um, obviously the middle point is strong, but you for you can risk getting yourself pinched in there. This building is strong in the sense that it's not likely to get pushed. Again, like it's really weird. Uh, like most like general like gunfight principles, you know, everyone thinks like, oh, high ground, you don't push the high ground, right? The high ground's tough, tough to push, which is true. But in many cases, especially in BRs, the low ground is also very hard to push depending on the area, surrounding area. Like geyser again is big part of this. Like a lot of these houses in theory, they're super low elevation. A lot of people looking in on it should be really bad to hold, but they're actually really good because if you're the first team there and you're holding it, not a lot of teams are going to push you there. Um, so um, it's so this this house right here, right in the center of the circle, is very similar to that in the sense that it's not the greatest spot in terms of like get, gathering information because it's on the low ground or like potentially fighting. But it's hard for any team to actually push because they'll die. Uh, all right. So all right. So we got the NRG tree drop. Interesting. Okay, so again, power of the path right here. Um, the second circle, all, again, I'm going to reiterate in case you haven't been watching the whole time. Always pay, if you are scanning a circle, always pay attention to where it pulls. Because again, the teams that aren't running path aren't going to know where it pulls. So this is a big pull. Again, most most teams will see this as the center. They'll be like, oh, we'll probably take something here. Take uh, take maybe tunnel, take uh, the sorting building, uh, take top harvester, and we chill. This is actually a massive pull, and it changes the way you play a lot of this. Um, obviously, I think the strongest spot here in this like general circle, like just right now, like looking at this, I'm not talking about late game, is right here, this, this elbow. Again, it's the whole deep pocket principle i'm gonna just start calling it that the dpp the deep pocket principle and what that is is you play very deep into the circle it might not be the game ending spot but you play very deep that nobody can push you because if anyone pushes you then everybody else is going to shoot at them uh so you're safest in the deepest pocket deep pocket pussy yes this this is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. so we're gonna wrap around we want you can this hear the eventually but yeah uh, this is our common goal for right now that hill right there Okay. So we're gonna have to wrap yeah, that choke is yeah, rough. Okay, okay. But see, here's the thing: is that choke is rough. But honestly, so many people avoid that choke that, by by nature, because it's avoided, it's almost sometimes like when people are afraid of a certain spot. If like collectively an entire match is afraid of a certain area, that more often times is a very free area. Then the choke sucks. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. But you'd be surprised in a competitive setting how many people would avoid that choke. On that yellow paint, are we gonna? Oh, nice, nice. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab this. So a lot of these, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously he didn't talk about it, but I think a lot. It is very smart to rotate the way Lou did because of the pull of the circle. Again, teams that aren't running path or teams that don't get a beacon aren't gonna know the pull of the circle. They might anticipate it based off where they see other paths running to, but they're definitely not going to get that corner elbow. So them playing this area, this is also this is a really strong spot to kind of hold out other teams. I think they're just going to get here and chill just to see what what's available. Like this is like this is a good first step is this spot. Yeah, But uh, they definitely want to keep their feet moving if they want a uh, decent ending. And then come up here, put some fences. I put like one right here. Just make sure you cover this whole area so people know that so we can show face to people. People know where. Yes, always always alpha your spot. So this is an interesting play. Uh, I don't know how long they sit here, but yeah, just watch out. There might be a team trying to rotate into that show. Um, it's likely that a team tries to, especially with the team. Oh I think uh, so. Any team wants this area, but this is also subsequently it's a very hard area to hold as a solo team, just like one team. Um, ideally, like above the tunnel, on the other side is really really strong. Like on the other side of this mountain, very strong. Um, I think they're trying to make sure. They're basically their back is clear so they can move into this freely. Which is always a solid thing to do, like to stop other teams from being able to rotate. There's no one back here. But yeah, playing like up somewhere backside? playing somewhere up here would I think be ultimately a little bit better. Do you yeah. wanna hold that? Yeah, I think I do. 
I have zip, I just, like, yeah, I yeah. Let's, uh, zip us as far as you can this direction. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's drop down that. Here, let me grab the ult excel real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Right now if you want. Okay. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We might not even need to put down at all. Let's just walk it. Yeah, Our you don't always have to. Don't always. Com if you're Watson, don't you can, always commit your ult right away until exactly you really need to. Like, I mean, I know. Because uh, but... sometimes, yeah, you run into this where he wanted to hold that tunnel area, but you know, I guess. Wait, he did put his ult down, but you shouldn't really put at least early a game. Don't always put your ult down right away because you never know when you might just want to move and grab something. When all of a sudden an opportunity pops up to grab something even better. Yeah, we're gonna set up in here. All right, so this is a really smart, smart spot. They know that it's not ending here. It could. There is an ending here, but it likely the way the circle's pulling, it will not end here. But this is really smart because this team, again, the DPP, the deep pocket principle. Uh, it's not necessarily as deep as this, but nobody's going to make their way out here to fight them. Um, and they have complete control of like this area. They have a beacon here. This is a really... If they could stretch and hold both of this, which they could with like uh, with a zip and whatnot... They could easily hold um, like this little area and then go back and forth between the beacon. Um, I think it would be the most ideal setup for them right now. And then they work off uh, trying to cuck any team that's trying to rotate through here. And potentially, once the circle starts to close a little bit more, they work their way in here and then just play up here. here I don't think we need They're in a very I strong spot right here. And this is, again, the advantage of path. Because the circle pulled super hard. I think most teams so didn't know that, that this was coming. Go hit that beacon. And, um, because of that I'm second gonna, circle re beacon read that pulled, um, all of this is open. Take this hill, I want to take it. No, 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 no. It pulls that but it, it, it is very much, no, there are very many endings. Yeah. Yeah, no one's rotating on us from behind. We're yeah, clear. Yeah, just, yeah, keep, no. just keep an eye on that. If you can. This is such this area, this little pocket back here is actually so strong. If you can play this for a while, and then transition to make sure, but like you don't want to fool as a three. Again, message to all players out there, uh, amateur or aspiring, you don't ever want to like full commit three people. The, the reason Lou is out here is because if they full commit three here, then a team will just roll up and take this for free. This is where Lou is right now, and then all of a sudden they have to fight for it. So that's why I said like maybe create like a zip back and forth. You ultimately want to set up in this choke right here and hold this choke and then just play for the beacon on the side. Because um, you don't you don't want another team here. All, all of a sudden the game gets very difficult for you if, if so. You're forcing yourself into a fight where you don't need to. So uh, most, most players will know to do what Lou is doing right now, which is just creating presence, making sure people know you're there. He has to take shots at the guys that are here because... He has to let he has to let them know that someone's there, right? When you're holding a spot, especially a power spot, you have to make sure your presence is known. Oh, I see. You said it's it's like this one, right, where it pulls here. No, 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 no. Oh, my yellow ping right here. It's gonna pull right there. Oh, and yellow ping. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. See? Yep. The high ground, that hill right there, is just is just. <laughs> I love that. I love that peachy mode. Like I love that decop peachy yeah, mode, man. That's so good. Nah, yeah, that's that's gonna be our that's gonna be our only problem this game is taking that. So we're yeah. still holding back here, right? We're holding here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you want to play it? Yeah, so they... I'm assuming... Okay, so they're going to ask Lou how to play it. What I'm about to say is probably how they're going to play it. Is they want to hold out, out at least for one more circle. They want to hold out for one more circle. Because they want to make sure that they can keep playing this beacon as much as possible. So once this circle closes, they're going to hit the beacon one more time. And then they're probably going to get over here. Assume the position... And make sure their back is clear. So that's how I'm guessing they're gonna play. Lose literally about the same. Let's see how close I was. You know. You, you said you just want to edge and be the last one in on the cell, or do you want to try and take it when the? I want to take it when that team leaves, because that team's gonna eventually try and rotate. They're gonna try and yeah. over overcompensate for their own rotate. Oh, we can come, 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 come. They left. Come, 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 come. Okay. Yep. They're just gonna go ahead and take it. That's a good spot. No reason yeah, not to take that. That's what I'm that. talking about. That team's gonna try and overcompensate for their <laughs> rotate because they see. Frex, no one's gonna, where, where no one's gonna come. Right now. Frex, so you should do a lot of reviews. See how it goes. Perfect, perfect. No, that's a strong spot. That's definitely like a spot they wanted to take. I think that that team left wanting to get a deeper spot into the circle, which can be good, but you have to make sure you get a spot that's actually good. Otherwise, the team like Lou's team is going to come in. Always make sure. Uh, I got a lot of people actually that DM me analogies of what I wanted, to, of what I was talking about. Um, assembly line. Uh, her, the, the best analogy for what I'm about to explain was the hermit crab method or the hermit crab. But like, I don't know how many people are. I don't know their education with the hermit crab and the analogy was when if you are a team that's playing this spot up here for example right above the tunnel um you always have to making sure your back is clear is one of the best things you can do because if you move like everybody that's in a worse spot than you if you're in a good spot if you move a team is going to come up and take that spot that you left behind 
So like the hermit crab analogy makes sense because that's what hermit crabs do apparently. They leave behind shells and get bigger shells and then other hermit crabs come and take their smaller shell. It's a perfect analogy, but how many people know that? You know what I mean? So I don't know if I should keep going with that, but this is basically the hermit crab effect. Uh, the team that was up here left to get a deeper spot in the circle and now Lou's team fills. And now Lou has to make sure a team doesn't somehow come from anywhere else. There could be a team that goes under the... Maybe under the tunnel, goes around, comes back up on them. They have to make sure that their back is also clear. We want to set up here. So you're going to want to put your, your alt right where I'm saying. Watch Planet Earth, nerd. Dude, Planet Earth is a banger, yep, though. Yep. It really is. We're gonna put fences out. How important is it to make sure your squad has a diverse set of weapons? Great question, Ace90. Great question. Um, it's never There's never a clear-cut answer on what weapons to run like per every single situation it all varies a lot of it is depends on what your teammates are comfortable with but generally um a lot of what guns to run depends on your knowledge of circles and where they end if you know a circle ending like lou knows for example this circle ends in tree this isn't the most long range circle there's a lot of close range areas that you're likely to fight a lot of teams so like for example running multiple snipers might not be the best idea for a tree ending now say it's like a uh, north epicenter all those hills if you know it's going to be that an ending out there that's when you want to run snipers or more long-range weapons in general like running r9 peacekeeper in that area fucking sucks right don't do it um this is why one reason why if you ever actually watch me play the game this is why i practice wingman pk because it's almost universally applicable and they're the best guns in the game hands down um so it really depends on the situation. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be diverse. It just needs to be appropriate for this situation, if that makes sense. Ace 90. Technically three, but only two yeah, teams can push us. Like, you don't need to have one person running, oh, like, R9 piece. It just, yeah, 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 your right weapons here. need to make sense for the situation you're putting your team in. You just put some fences down. I want them to be vis visible to them so that they have to shoot them to come and push us. You know what I mean? Once they shoot them, we know they're gone. That means they're over there. This is also a very big thing. Uh, their main, so their main base and like of actions and operations, just condense it. Their main base of operations is above the tunnel right here. But this is a really smart thing to do if you can, especially again, a lot of it depends on the weapons. If you have long range to do this, you should do it. Uh, but you don't ever want to just cramp into a spot that's like good and just sit there. Ideally, you want to assert like your uh, presence in the biggest area possible. So like they're playing this entire area, whereas some beta male teams might, you know, just play up here and then let another team just run into here. And then they play this and then they share that. So if you can, and if you're confident in yourself and your team, you should try to play, always try to extend the area that you're playing as much as you can to keep teams away. But if you're playing away from like whatever your base of operations is, just keep in mind that you have to doubly like double back as fast. If not faster than normal. Can jump up on that thing yeah, they can. Line. They can. They can. Watch your back here. Oh, so now, so right now, yeah. yeah. If you have to come down to the gym. That's such a good spot for a gen. That's so busted. Okay. It's very simple. They'll try to push. Yeah, they're probably sure gonna play a little bit more passive. Can peek up and keep an eye on that left side. I know they're. I mean, they right want to like. They're gonna want to like you know puff their chests every team around them right now, but yeah, they uh. It the might be tough with the team behind them and then two teams to in front of them. So. Priority is just to fuck as many teams over as much as you can, but don't ever don't overextend here. Okay. I'm just gonna have to hold with you guys because we're gonna have to yep. deal with the team on our left. That's a smart TP. I was about to say yeah, like no, you can, if you need to I was surprised he doesn't set this TP right? up. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're they're close. And if you right take right it, put down the gen right away. If you need to take it, okay? okay. That's good. Yeah, left, always always laying out that game yep. plan for the team. Alright, there's no there's only there's only one team up here with us. Yeah, it's this <clears> team on the left side. Perfect, perfect. We're good. We're good up here. All right, we just gotta watch the left over here. They died a ring. Perfect. And next to see them make it through. Yep. Are they still over there? Did they die to the ring? I saw Aiden die to the ring. Here, I'm gonna need it once. I'm gonna need it once. Yeah, I wanna see. Check that corner. Yep. No, he's not here. No one there. We gotta come over here. Yeah, that's really good for them. We can't lose that yet. That's really good for them, man. That's really good. Now they have all this area to work with. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about them zipping up. If they zip up, we're sort of screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna stay inside. That's what they're gonna do. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'm still holding right this area down. I'm good. I'm good over here. Not a bad area to play. They're open to the. They'd be exposed to the east, though. We got ten seconds. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to TP towards my red ping. 
Okay. Those were on video. Keep in mind, we have video evidence of those three O's the other night. Both you and Kevin just run in your mouths. Just run in your mouths. Oh, heals he subscribed. Uh, I'm holding right side, uh, right door. All right, you can take TP. Taking, taking. Taking it. All right, put Jen down like, just... right here. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So this team's going to hide in here. They have to. Yeah, All right, but we need to watch our left. That's use an, use an ultic self, you can. Use an ultic self. It's broken, it's broken. I got shot from the back. Oh, behind. I'm sure I'm shooting. Shooting. Behind us, yeah. yeah. Play for yourself, play for yourself. Yep. Yep. You're good, you're good. This would have been almost a better spot. Yeah, that spot was a little rough that they chose to go to. They're wiping each other right now. You're chilling. Watch above, right here. Right. Armor swap if you need on here. I'm shielding for you. I'm shielding. At this point, I think he's just trying to stall out. Get as many placement points as he can. Well, I guess that doesn't matter anymore. They are yeah, match point okay, threshold. Nice All right. Yeah, that was... I think we need to hold that high ground, dude. I didn't know that high ground isn't... That was the problem. That, that team behind us. 100%. I I don't know. I guess nice that was the team in the tunnel that pushed out to him. That's the one thing that sucks. So like when you run a rat a wrath path wraith team, like you kind of have to. You can't really play the edge. You have to get in, but it, it leaves you susceptible to almost everybody else if anyone even tries to focus you. That's yeah. That was a rough spot for them to, to hide in here. The, yeah. the, the, the ult. I think if anything, um, they probably should have played down here. Then they're only exposed to really these people that are all, all already fighting. But this is this is a little rough. Obviously, the high ground would have been optimal. All right, you can take TP. Taking, taking. Taking it. But even then, yeah, the high ground gets poked from from this door though. So even then, it's tough. I think like down there and like just right, like put Jen down. playing down where Lou started to try to rat actually probably would have been a way better area. If they all three were there, they could probably hold off most people with a Jen. Like right here. Yep. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's, like, he, Lou's not wrong. Like, this team isn't going to be poking. They're not going to be playing roof as much. Or, or, in fact, the circle's closing, actually. So, no, now that I think about it, it's, it's not even going to be on that door. It's going to be, yeah, the high ground's ideal. Uh, these guys aren't going to be poking out, out very much because people will be looking at them for sure. And they only have one small area to poke out of. So, that high ground is absolutely ideal. Um, the problem was they couldn't exactly play it here. If they went and played the high ground immediately here, they still have other teams from everywhere shooting. I think honestly the ideal spot would have been to play was right under that cliff. So this team's gonna hide in here. They have to, all right? Right under here, because there's, that's actually where they were most covered, and they I think they needed this team, so they need they would need this team to fight another team, and then they can like kind of if anything climb up on them and like kind of clean up. This high ground is absolutely the best spot for sure. Uh, it's just kind of like it's a matter of every team. It has they have to wait for every team to close in. Walk in would be more appropriate here. Yeah, I think so too. I think he wanted to. I think he wanted the TP and Jen so he doesn't get fucked by the house team. I think that's why he wanted to do that. Um, yeah, the walk in, walk in. I think ideally would have been better. But the problem is also if they walk in, say they come here and they're like this, whatever team is shooting at their Jen, all of a sudden starts chunking them hard. Like they don't have too many places to go. I, I don't disagree with the TP portal. It's just I think they played the wrong area. That's all. Right, but we need to watch our left. Yeah, use an use an ultic self. You can use an ultic self. This guy, who is this? PVP. That's actually a really wide angle, and that was in terms of fucking over loose team. That actually just fucked loose team hard. PVP on that flank. All right, put Jen down like right here. Yep, perfect. That's such a like. I don't think anyone. Ex I don't think Lou ever expect like. I think Lou just expected this this team that's playing the house to just chill in here or like all be like centered in this corner. That was a really smart flank from PVP's, and it could PVP could have been a rat. I don't know if he's the team here or what. So this team's gonna hide in here. They have to, all he right? But we need to but watch he, he got a knock on use him. It, so. Use an ult himself. You can use an ult. So he he griefed, I think, part of their ult too, and then he's already so. beaming. He does so much damage. Wicked fucking uh, Kraber. I was about to say op. Kraber, uh, door you. Oh, behind. And then yeah, they just get converged on by so many people. So, yeah, I mean, if there's anything I, I want to be, before we continue, if there's anything that I want to be known as for, like, or, like, seen as in Apex, is I see a lot of, like, the younger crowd at, like, 18, 19 on Twitter and stuff like that that are, like, aspiring pros. I see so many of them, like, getting, like, so, like, ment like they're mentally beating themselves up over potentially not making it now, fearing that they'll never have time to do it in the future. I graduated from college. I worked a lot of part-time jobs. I worked a full-time job as a financial advisor for two years before I finally got my first good computer. And all of this, I, I've been streaming on and off just for fun. 
for like five years. Uh, it was it didn't turn full time until about a year ago, a little over a year ago. So no, if there's anything I want to at least be to like aspiring esports players is like you can do it. Like don't even if you don't make it now, even if you don't make it in the next game, like that doesn't mean you failed and that doesn't mean you can't make it. Period. Um, so no, it's they might they might call me the boomer and all that stuff, but uh, I uh. I, I just want to serve as an example of like, hey man, like you can still make it. Uh, my stream hasn't been growing. I can show you guys what my stream was like last year. It was nothing. It was only I think like at a thousand followers, which is still like a big number. Don't get me wrong. And even that a thousand followers took like a year to build up. But like, all you need is a couple. It, there is a bit of luck in it for sure. But it's all about networking and having as many people know about you and what you can do as possible, and speaking highly of you as well. I didn't know anyone in the Apex scene, aside from like a couple players. All the pros that are my friends now, I did not know beforehand. I made all those friends, people spoke highly, a lot of the people that ran scrims spoke highly of me because I, I did very well early on in scrims, and I, I didn't know anyone coming into it. It's, it was all new to me. So for all those out, all the people out there that are afraid to continue chasing your dreams or are afraid to fail fucking don't be just fucking do it you got time especially the younger especially people that are younger than me like you got time like it's never too late to, to chase your dreams i enjoyed what i did as a financial advisor but i'm gonna be honest like i didn't uh it's not something i could see myself doing all the time so i tried my best when i was not working to pursue and build up something that i want to do at least for a very long time all right with that being said, shall we go? Yeah, but I'm not very familiar with these zones because they're so new. Yeah, you know? neither am I. Like, I'm I mean, playing enough scrims on a new map. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so this is actually similar to the first circle we saw last game. But it, the difference here is obviously uh, there isn't a big... I'm going to actually turn the... No, I'm going to turn the... Sorry, the notifications back on just, just because we're... Uh, I think they've calmed down a little bit. Okay, but anyways. So this is similar to the first circle we saw last game. Uh, it's not like as heavy down at the south like it was earlier, but this is definitely one of those endings that might end out here Again, I'm not familiar like like they were just talking about. I'm not familiar with too many endings I know there's like one that's kind of out here uh, And I know there's definitely there's definitely a lot that are they're very commonplace out here So don't be surprised to see it pull down here at all uh, We'll figure it out, right? And it, it <laughs> yeah, even lose not sure. It's hard to like create a game plan when you're not really completely sure. At this point, when you're not sure what the circle is, because again, a, lo I, a lot of what I talk and what I try to teach is like, when you know the circles, hey, this is what you should do. This is what you should do. Um, when you don't know what the circles are, um, like this, uh, the best your best bet is to just get somewhere that's as deep as possible and as uh, strong of a spot as possible. Um, that would be again, like I said, the hard, the strong spots in Harvester are the two top uh, like little rooms up here, and like the middle. Again, the middle is really strong as well, but the middle is risky because you could get pinched by two teams, and all of a sudden that shit gets weird like really fast. Um, and then any of these like small snake spots, you can definitely like wall off. There's so much real estate in Harvester that could be shared in between teams. You could probably safely fit like ten teams in Harvester alone, like if we're like talking about like min maxing space and like no one fighting. So there's a lot of spots to play in Harvester, but again, you have to rotate out eventually more than likely because not a lot of the end zones have been like right on it. Um, this house is a really good one and will probably net you big placement because mo again, most of the circles I've, a lot of circles I've seen end literally right out here with a slight variation on the area. I'm thinking it What are the possibilities? I, that's uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if I had to guess, if I had to go all in on a guess, it would be out here. But I'm, again, I don't know. These are still new. I've so had it's a hard. few endings on that too, yeah. 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 Perfect, perfect. Side ground, always the best ground. Not right always. Like this hill is our, is our goal. I want to see if it's something we can play early. Um, not always, because uh, a lot of it depends. So usually as, as the circle is wider, High ground is worse. Just a general principle. It's obviously, that's not true across like every possible way. And what I mean by that is like, take for example, any of the pussy posts that are in the game. Early game, that shit kind of sucks because you get sniped at from every little bit fucking direction. But as the circle closes and as less angles are made available to hit the high ground, uh, high ground, the smaller the circle, the better the high ground. 
the, the more the stronger it becomes if that makes sense right here right here there's a high ground so that's and that's the case right there so th that's kind of what i'm trying to like back up a lot of is it's it's not necessarily important that you get to the fucking end zone and you know exactly where it ends and you get to the spot that's most likely to be in there for the longest time that's not the most important thing in these games the important thing is that you get a good read of what the end is and then you play a strong spot more than playing actually just like the end spot yeah, Howl's there's, more there's brain. Right someone, someone spot, spot. See what I'm saying? Now, yeah. this team, we can bully this team. We can bully this team now. Yeah, so that team is basically employing the, hey, it's going to end here. We're going to play here. But, like, again, that early on, it's not a good idea. They're going to get... Th that team, I would not be surprised if they got bullied off or if just completely killed before they even get to move anywhere. Hey, hey, we we're, we're, we're yeah, sitting ducks is... here. I don't know if I like I'm, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... even... I was going to mention this. Even this hill early on is really bad. This hill, like, it's a strong spot, but out here can shoot at you. Back here, anyone that rotates behind you back here can safely shoot at you. You literally have no cover to any of these, uh, to either of these chokes. Um, you have no cover. Uh, also out here, like, this this hill is really good, but it's that, it's that same case of, like, it's a strong spot, but the, the tighter a circle gets, the better that spot gets. This early, it's really fucking risky to play. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna get inside. Okay, here. you're going inside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we're literally getting shot from four angles here. You guys can take TV. Take TV. This isn't a bad spot to hold at all. I mean, there's three entry points, but like it's unlikely oh, that you get hit by like all three at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Stay alive here. Stay alive here. You Tanner team next. Uh, next is gonna be nice. They're just pressuring just to try and get us off the That was very. If you can come here. I know you gotta come to the middle here. You gotta come to the middle yeah, here. Yeah, I'm on middle. Yeah. I'm on middle. Put Jen here as well. Okay, I'm healing. What is this Pathfinder doing? Who is this? Aiden. Homie. What are you doing? What the hell was that? That was the biggest ant I've seen uh, no, in this entire tournament so far. So that was the guy above oh, no. us. So oh, now we know good. that's really good for us because now we know that there are two men. And we can just I mean, late, I wouldn't late be surprised. Just take a fight against them. So that's why I think we're in a really good spot. Remember uh, when we got that dub yesterday, see? When uh, we were doing Jimmy Cossack? Yeah, that's a good that was on that other nope. one. Oh. <laughs> Somebody should pick this guy up as a coach. That's all I'm saying. Or someone should pick this guy up as an analytical broadcaster. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Man. It's almost like the guy knows what he's talking about. Am I right? It did indeed pull down here. Even though they were all thinking it's over here. So the, the thing, the problem is, is that there's a team at the choke, right? And they're playing the choke so that they can watch the back right now. But once yeah. the zone closes, they're going to play that high ground to hold us. You right, see what I'm saying? Right, right. This guy yeah, close. Saying, you might have to do it early. Yeah, then... yeah, we might have to. Because the other thing, too, is we have to worry about, like, getting yeah, so the team that's up here. I think they're, they are basically right. Um, I think if they want, if they want to secure a, a strong rotation after this, they can, they can probably go in and play something else, like just in the circle, but that doesn't guarantee, like you, again, you, you almost, you want to prioritize strong spots over just like deep spots. And what they're trying to do right now, obviously, is they're trying to take this circle, this high ground up here. Uh, there's a team there and they're talking about it. Like they they need to fight, they need to fight for it. Taking that and, and assuming they win. And their team is more cracked probably than most of the other teams here. If they'd win that, then um, their next rotate is a lot easier. So. Or older, older than 21? I meant older than 21. Yeah. They still have their to open the door. Yeah, if they can take this spot, like, it's not the most defensible spot, but, like, just it being, like, the virtue of, like, the high ground. If you can at least survive on high ground, uh, a lot of it's good. High ground is so good just for gathering information. Like, if they rotated, like, I don't know, so fucking underneath this ramp or some shit. All, like, they don't have as much vision. They can't see. They can't plan their next move as well. Uh, generally, again, this is where, like, th right now this hill sucks. But when the circle closes and there's no angles, there's no back angles to be shot from or anything, this hill's going to be a lot stronger. This is this doubles back to that question at the start of this game where someone was like, hey, I forget who it was in chat, sorry. Uh, where you asked, um, is high ground generally just always what you want to do? And, like, right now, it's not smart for Lou's team to play here. They can get beamed from any which way. But next circle, it's it'll definitely be a stronger spot. There might be a team with an angle on them. I'm not quite sure. I think there's my these guys over here might have an angle. But they'll at least have this rock to dance around. Are they not out there at all? 
we just go there right now? Or yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah, Esports, so squiggles. I don't know if. Oh, yeah, they're still so there. Esports, maybe it's just because I got involved with Apex, and like Apex isn't the most optimal esport, at least not at the moment. Uh, this shit is so fucking stressful, but I'm sure it's like that anywhere else. That's not, that's not, we can't do that. We, I think, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, if they, if they force this fight, it's a really awkward fight for them. So these guys are already on like the higher ground, they have gen back here and everything. If they force this fight, they easily get shot at from like anyone, anyone in this area, especially the team that's probably right here. So it's a really awkward fight. Um... The safe play would be to just go into Harvester somewhere. There's a lot of free real estate in Harvester, like that a lot of teams don't play, like underneath the ramps, for example. You can get picked out up top, sure, but most of these teams aren't going to peak to pick out up, aren't going to peak up top because every other team's going to kind of keep them in check. Um, I'd be curious uh, to see what they do though. Yeah, That's I think really we sucks. just have to play with the ring. Yeah, like, I think so too. Where we're at the corner. What about this? Oh one yeah, here? dude. Have they moved yet? Let it's so see, stressful. See. Don't get me wrong, yeah, like, yeah, competing is fucking puppy. incredible. Nah, like, the 1% of the time really you're good. actually a, a pro oh you, and you gosh. get to compete is fucking nerd. incredible. <laughs> but man, it's <laughs> it's tough. It's so taxing. Um, I mean, like, I, I want to still compete, but man, like, at the same time, I think a lot of just like... Oh, co hold up. Can we play, the, can we play above us? Tough, is there any way we can play above us? Above? Nah, there's yeah, no way. Yeah, play right here, dude. I know, but I know, but how long do we have cover? That's my question. People close, people close, people close. Close, close, close. Watch this angle, watch this angle. This angle. Nah, I don't think, I, they, if they take top, they're just screwed. I think it's a rat. Hold up, I'm gonna check out here, give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know to open door. I'm holding uh, this yeah, other yeah. angle. It's just a rat, he's one. He's one, can you, can you hit him? Yep, yep. He's literally one. Got him, got him. P fitter. What was that rat spot? Nice, tons of cells, tons of cells. Oh yeah, absolutely. Honestly, like that's why I'm like, I'm not like hell bent on going pro in Project A, because Project A is gonna be full of people like fucking Lou, and I can't, in terms of mechanical prowess, I can't stand up to Lou. How many ulti cells do you have actually? My my literal goal right now is to just grow my brand as much as I possibly can. I would love to just be a content creator, you know. I'm definitely gonna get involved with Project A if I like it enough, but. I don't know how good of how able I actually am to fucking okay, there we go. We're good. Get to go competitive. So I think All right, so obviously this is a safe rotate that they got into. It will nobody they they should not die up here. But the next question is, it makes it a little bit difficult for where they have to go next. Um, I think there's like a low ground they might be able to play past the lava, but that's even that's even that's risky because then this team up here is going to rotate in and they're going to meet them right here. So this is really interesting. They could play like under the ramp here, but again, this team, this team, this one team up here is doing so much damage to them in terms of their of their gameplay and what they can do. And at this point, it's probably too late to rotate to the other side because like when it gets to this like late, it's so hard. To, like the more you move, the more in danger you are of dying. So if they went to like to want it to go like around, it might be too late at this point. The ink it's like a super blind rotation. This one's tough. This one's really tough. Uh. I'm trying to see what they could like and couldn't play. I mean, ideally, like this high ground is really good, but I doubt they'll be able to get that. What we may have to do. You might have to port us. Uh, Luz, yeah, let me see. Give me a second. Either that, or we hold this rock. But there's gonna be a team that. I really like your content already. as many. Obviously, there's keep up all. That's why I'm like. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude. Uh, like, if I want, if when, whenever I leave Apex, because let's be real, no game lasts forever. I just want to like grow my brand as much, and I'm super fucking motivated to do so. Because I'm not like some like yeah, viral content right creator, you know, I'm not Mimi, I'm not like also, fucking here. crazy mechanically cracked to yeah. like reach that like overnight. Yeah, you guys can come up here. I realize if I want to get there, I and mo most most creators fit in this, if I want to get there, I just have to like grind for it. You keep back, you keep back, we have this, we have this, we have this. Now we hold here, now we hold here. I need to figure out where we're going next. Alright, this is nice like incremental spot at least. Do you have an ultic zone? I was surprised that guy was just in there alone. So this, this is, is oh, fuck. It's gonna clock. I actually though. want to look at. I want to look at that face. Yet. Do you have an ultic zone? I won't. I just used it. I'm good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So like I was saying, there, I think there's some low ground here that they can actually play. But I did see, and you will see shortly. I don't see him right now on the screen. But there was like a rate that was like right here somewhere. So there's a team that's actually actively playing this. Obviously, you can see the zip too. So I think this area would be like the obvious one. Because everything else is just straight up fucking open. The only other thing I can think of is they should take note of... I, I think a team started to take this. If this team is the same team that was down here, 
then they could take this in place the, in place of that team. They could take this bottom, this low ground. Uh, it might not. It's not going to be the best for the next rotation because then they're literally trapped in a fucking doorway. But this ro this rotation is going to kill a lot of teams. I can tell there's a lot of teams on this side of the circle. Um, don't be surprised to see like it's this squad count to drop to like fucking eight. Perfect. I have I have ult right now. For you. <laughs> you are correct. Well, thank this you. This team is going to collapse. I think. Do you I, I can't. Yeah, I know okay. I can't compete like with the likes of like some people though. Oh but gosh, I Project is gonna be super competitive. Yeah, that's all. They're trying to bully us. Yeah, yeah, just drop it. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be rough. Now they don't have Gen for the next rotation unless they have an accelerant, but I don't think they do. I mean, I'll definitely try Dangle. I'll definitely try. Come with me. We have those to games are like my bread and butter. I think I'm better at those than I am at BRs. We have to. We have to. Yeah. There's no other spot for us to play. Yeah, yeah, this is a smart call. They literally did not have an option on the other side. This is a smart call right here. Oh, you just Evo with a purple bolt? No, dude, I suck with the Evo. What are you talking about? Morse team up top on rail. Okay. People just pop bubble to our left. Like, this is a Hail Mary of a rotation, but they don't have an option. We gotta watch out for this team right here fighting. They have no option. Can we take up top There's a team up there. They can play in this little cubby, actually. This is free. Alright, we hold up here. We hold up here. That's a smart rotation because honestly, like they had to hail Mary. There was nowhere they were gonna play on the inside. We might be able to get it. No, no, we hold, we hold, we hold. Yeah, we hold, we hold. Yeah, team above here, so we hold, we hold, we hold. You gotta put down Jen right here. So right here, I can tell Lou wants to push this so bad. This wouldn't be one of those spots that's all like bad to commit a portal to. Like they immediately put the Gen down here. Seagull puts up walls and they port for it. The only problem is though, I. But I don't think they would unless I, it would be a really stupid play if if Lou ported to try to get any of these kills um, Maybe this team tries to like zerg these guys that, are, that they that because a lot of times if you port right next to a team If you're like the Wraith and you start setting a portal down The team that's right next to you knows that your team is only two players So they might try to kill you they might try to just zerg your other two players So you have to be very careful with portal I don't think this team would drop because again, it's like the hermit crab thing. If they drop another team, as soon as they see that they drop, they're gonna come and try to take this. So a smart team wouldn't, if, if Lou ported for that, I don't think a smart team would contest him. Yeah, or at least contest this team. No, he does, he does. All right. But if they wanna kill, but they at the same time, sure. they already have match point threshold. They don't need to risk it. So this is probably the safer play, but I'm just saying if he wanted to port, right? At this point, all that matters is that they win the game. Yeah, it's gotta hold, it's gotta hold. So, this is the smarter way to go about Watch it for this sure. Angle. Oh, we can fucking team up over here. We can use that don't, try really not to show too much face. If we get naded, we're screwed. I got one, I got one, I got one. I don't want them uh, to feel like they can nade us. Oh yeah, that on top of they don't have a yeah. gen, so don't yeah, shoot, they can't really do anything. Don't even peek it, don't even peek it. Don't even. Literally chill, literally yeah, chill. Yeah, 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 you yeah, just peeked it. They might. What's your percentage right now? Come over here. If we get needed, we have to push box. Yeah, I'm gonna have to literally like go. It doesn't. Over. I feel like they would have already done it by now, but. Yeah. If they have grenades. Yeah. We're gonna have to push this real slow. Yep. We have to hug the right, and then we I have yeah. to TP us in. Either that or we Here's have to just full walk in. Forty-five seconds. This is good. He's above. He's above. Can you put his zip? You gotta put something for us though. Oh, yeah, adore yeah. you. Um, Alright, come back down. Come you back meant down. the zip zip, not the grapple. You probably already got a battle. This is when I usually wake up, my dog wants another walk. <laughs> Have you not slept at all then? You're working smart, love no, this shit. Thank you, don't do it. Appreciate it. I have a, I, not to like, oh, shamelessly pimp it out, but like I do, I have a lot more of this right, on the YouTube um, and with like actual, gear. in AOGS. We, gotta, we have like to walk up on the right side. We have to hug, yeah. And then I have to TP us. Dude, they're gonna. This team TP'd. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Following, 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 yep. This is gonna be so fucking risky. I, I'm getting anxiety just watching this. Just because the uh, team's in the house. Perfect, perfect. Let's wait, let's wait it out. If we can, we can even walk up to here. Yeah, we can walk up here. I say, wait, Just give it a here. second. Give it a second. Just uh, hug the zone. Yeah, wait, Go in with the zone. Hug zone. Yeah, hug zone. Ready? Follow yep. me. Follow me. Yep. The team's to our left. I have to TP. That's your right. Yeah, we're good here. We're good, good. here. We're good here. We have mean. to. We have to get over somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Follow going. me on this hacker. Fight this fight. This right here. Oh my red ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it? Drop down on it. Come in, come in, come in. Knock one. Knock two. 
Nice, nice, nice. Armor nice fucking. Armor shop, you got it. That's I'm big. Res. That's so big. He's oh, coming in. No. Door you. Gotta watch that door you. How many is it? It's two, it's two, it's two, it's two. Fuck. Oh, damn. Alright, so. Definitely. I, I see a I lot so of people. A lot of teams fuck this yeah, up. Sorry, sorry. And I know you guys aren't like a pro team like together. I get that. So it's no like no harm. I don't mean anything this in a bad way. Me. This again, uh, this is meant I, I, to be I'm an educational piece for yeah, like I'm every sorry. team out there. How many is or it? players out there? Nice. Oh, oh, Anytime you are in a Jibby bubble, you have a player knocked. Um, but you're you're clear like you won the fight. I see a lot of people don't do this. And I I don't know what your situation was Dory. you. I don't know if you had um if you had them available, but when one person goes for the res in the bubble, the other person needs to quickly identify where they could potentially get pushed from. And right here, you see, like, obviously, you're getting naded. Um, and you need to nade spam the fuck out of any possible entry angle into the bubble. Thermites work best for this, by the way. Um, you need to thermite the living shit out of every angle that somebody can push you in through the bubble while the res is going off. Nobody, a lot, I don't see a lot of people do this. They usually just wait for people to like run up so they can get, sh like, so they can shoot the person coming in. But like, nade spam the living shit out of the bubble. No one's pushing that. Uh, again, I'm not, and I'm not meant to, this isn't meant to like throw shade at you or anything. This is meant to be an educational piece for anyone else. And this, this applies to any Jibby bubble fight in ranked, in pubs, anything. If you, all three of you are in there, one of you is downed, one reses, one of you needs to call it because not everyone defaults to doing that right away. So this usually goes for like maybe whoever's resing. The biggest uh, fuck now I'm now about to go on a tangent on about playing reses. When you're playing a res with uh, other with your teammates, um, this is something my team struggled with a lot in uh, when I at first, but we got a lot better at this. Was whoever is going for the res, or, or so the guy who's down, obviously needs to get res. The other two need to communicate immediately what's happening. So like. For, like, for example, Lou here, sh just throwing Lou as an example, should be like, Yo, I'm gonna res, you need to cover for me. Or door use, somebody needs to make the call, like, go for the res, I got you. Or like, hey, I'm gonna go for the res, make sure you got me. Right? This is a very basic thing that a lot of, even like lower level teams, don't do. Um, and, like, res communication is fucking massive. Uh, you need to be on the same page. Um, and... And that's that simple just like calming on what you're doing and like asking for help while someone's rezzing is massive but that's something my team struggled with a lot in scrims early on before poland um like sometimes we weren't sure when to go for reses sometimes we get went for reses but the other person like would push up and chase like a solo like it, it, there needs to be this is when the team synergy needs to be at its all-time highest uh, is in this situation right here if you nade spam that that if you nade spam this bubble they don't push Lou. Lou gets Seagull up. Seagull might go down in the future, but Seagull probably gets a quick uh, armor swap off or something. Like, you're good. Again, I don't know if you had nades. So your first instinct should have been, if you didn't have nades, was to look for nades. Uh, Dive, Devil, and Colin Loki. Thank you guys for the follows. But uh, this is, I definitely wanted to use this as like a segue because I see a lot of people, even, in, even like other pro players in ranked when I'm playing with them because I've been playing a lot of Jibby, they don't default to doing this. Like, if I go to, if I dome and I go to pick up the guy, I, I'm always baffled at when somebody is, like, my other teammate is watching the bubble, but all of a sudden I'm getting shot in the back. Like, that shouldn't be happening. When the other guy goes for the res in the bubble, the other person just nade spams the fuck out of that bubble. Especially the side they're coming in on. Thermites, again, thermites work amazingly here. Because no one's pushing into a bubble with thermites. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Again, that's like a, just a little tidbit you guys can take into like any like ranked game with Jibby. Like that that needs to happen, and then that secures the res. Otherwise, Lou just gets chunked in the back here. I'm seeing res. Okay, so you knew they were coming. So Dory, you even knew they were coming. Definitely, just get ready to nade spam. Yeah, and that's again no shade thrown because obviously these are very tense moments, right? Like you guys, fucking adrenaline's pumping, very tense. I get that, but that's this, that's just like a general PSA to anybody out there that's playing or learning how to play with Jibby. Nade spamming your own bubble buys so much time for your team. Uh, Retsy's team one. How many is Elbow. it? Retsy, Annie, Maul, and I forget who the third is. Fuck. <clears throat> I have self-res if you can just stall. Again, I see a yeah, lot of pro players that don't do that. 
Uh, that's something that needs to happen to, on recovery. I'm always come. in the mindset. I think uh, a lot of players, like, that's right the beauty of VR. Fine, so a lot of players right. play differently. I'm always in the mindset of, hey, we might have won in this fight, or we might outnumber the team in this fight. But, like, I always play for the bigger numbers. Um, I always go for the reses. Like, say it's, like, a knock on, like, say it's a 2v1. You're the two, and your teammate is not. There's a lot of players that would just push the one as two. I personally, I'm always trying to plan for the next team that's coming. If it's a 2v1, unless like they're right in front of you, obviously. But if it takes you a couple seconds to like go chase them, I'd rather we double back and we get our boy up so he can recover before the next team comes. So like I said, some teams would go in right, and make, right away for the push. I personally always try to play for the larger numbers and the larger health pools. So, um... But stuff like that, you know, needs to be communicated, of course. Yeah, I'm dead. See if you can rat. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. No, your guys' teamwork for, like, obviously you guys have, like, never really played together. Your guys' teamwork is pretty fucking on point, though, I'll be honest. You guys did very well. I, uh, not to put the expectation there, but like when I saw the team, on, like I told you, when I saw your team on paper, I expected you guys to be one of the top teams. <coughs> Why do you think Reps and Al played so poorly today? Even Reps had like a close to last pick in the draft, but he still won. I don't know. I haven't watched any of it, Dangle. This is the only team I've watched, so I, I don't know the circumstance. I don't know. They probably didn't care to play this tournament right all that there. much. I don't know. There's probably a lot of factors in it, man. If there's one thing I want everybody who watched this tournament to take away, is don't judge any players based on how well or how poorly they did. Particularly the ones that did poorly, because, like, it's not the most competitive tournament. Um, so, like, don't, you know, don't go around thinking, like, hey, a lot of these players aren't good. It's just, like, a lot of people, there's probably a lot of people that actually ended up not wanting to play the tournament. It's kind of like, it's kind of like kickball, right? Or, like, any other recess sport you know i'm sure like some people got picked by people they didn't want to be picked by <laughs> and i know that sounds awful but like i'm sure it happened i can't i'm not referencing any team in particular but like i'm sure there's a lot of people that like didn't really care to play this tournament or didn't really care to do well so don't don't take it about like don't be like oh zom's got 20 i thought he sucks and like nah that's it's meant to be a fun tournament for for like just content just for everyone to have a good time so it's unfortunate that obviously not everyone did have a good time but what are you gonna do? Fun and very amazing learning experience. Oh, good try, good try. That's why I do these. If anyone learns anything, man, I feel like I did a good job. I don't know what happened with how. Watch this match in the middle of my office may have gotten too hype. From their perspective, Oni? Okay. Okay. This is always a very interesting circle. Uh, reason being, most of the time, it like doesn't. I don't think this one. This one, I think, is not pulling overlook enough. But many times, this circle debates so fucking hard, and it actually ends up just pulling overlook uh, when it's like not even like looks it, when it doesn't show that it's gonna be there or it doesn't look like it. But uh, other possible endings I've seen. Uh, there's one like out here for sure. You can get this one. There's like one over here in these rocks. Obviously, the overlook can be an ending. There's one in the corner here, but I highly doubt it'll be that one. Uh, one here, and then there could be one here too, but I also highly doubt it's going to be that one too. I think there is one like in the direct middle here, but it's been a while since I've seen it. I mean, I know, I know how to play this. We, we, we need to go up here. Yes. I just, right. it's, uh, I mean. <laughs> he wants to say that it's going to be hard without with a caustic. I know he wants to say it. I know how to play it with a Watson. There it is. <laughs> but the Caustic, I don't know. So, obviously, I'm sure you guys know Caustic excels at holding buildings. Um, I mean, just like we winged it, we can definitely wing it again. I if we, dude, if we make it to the end, we win the game. Like, that's the only reason why I want, I, like, I, I'm like, okay, it's okay to play that. Because if we make it to end game, we just win. There's nothing yep. anybody yeah. can do against a Caustic. Very true. Like, Caustic's so fucking annoying in game. And you know that. But I'm trying to think if, if, we can get there. if we can get there, we just win the game. Right now, I'm good. Okay, so let's talk about spots. So if, yeah, Luz is 100% right. If you can hold this area with Watson, very good. Very good. Uh, but you don't have a Watson. It's a very open circle, too. 
Um, that's tough. I'd say like you can hold a trailer with Caustic, but that can get Nate spam to Oblivion. Um, you might be able to hold some of these like rocks up here, and it wouldn't be a bad idea because again, this is that DPP I was telling you about, the deep pocket position. That's it. <laughs> I forgot what the last P was. Uh, and there's so many like little small areas that Caustic could actually hold this kind of decently. You could take a building and overlook to be safe, but it's tough because with Caustic, like you know how I was saying, like basically every single other game, you want to take a strong spot rather than just a spot that ends in the circle. That's not true with Caustic. With Caustic, you just need to get to the end game and you need to hold a spot that's in the end game and that's it. Because with Caustic, you basically win the last circle by default. You just have to get there and that's a t hard thing with Caustic. I got Hemlock. DK. Deep Pocket Principle. No, wait. Want a wingy boy and I'm Gucci. I'm just afraid of people like, uh, like, I didn't say principle, but I thought principle, I used principle for something else. I don't remember this shit, man. True. I need, that's I need my own flashcards. Like, that's the only thing I, I think of us losing this. Because I know exactly where to play. Yeah, right, we need to get up here on this RB side. We get the high ground. Right. Yeah, he's definitely right there. We need, we need to go quick though. Yeah, I can't. Where, where are the gun points? Where do people? So like people, people push us here, or they push us down here, and then. Oh, somebody. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what the oh, fuck? Died. You got the kill. You got the kill. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? No. Actually, dumpster. You know. Where? What barrel hit? Was that so a like barrel people, back in cap? Push us here. Was there? Does anybody have a clip of this? There has to be a clip from Zom's perspective. Some hundred dollar caustic barrel. Oh my god! No! Oh, I fucking <laughs> hate Seagull. No fucking way. No fucking way. Hashtag Zom's Nation, baby. <laughs> Hashtag Zoms. What is Seagull doing? <laughs> All right. So this actually still could pull Overlook. It could still be like, uh, there's sometimes there's one like right out here. Like this is the silos right here. It could still be out here. Uh, again, unlikely, but like Overlook circles are the only place that tend to pull fucking insanely hard randomly. Uh, otherwise, honestly, if I'm over here like Lou, I'm like, dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at right now. Uh, again, it could it, there there is a circle that's like kind of out up in these mountains There is a circle by like the pussy post that's like here ish. It's not on the map And then there I think there is also one by this trailer too like in this air, general area uh, I think I re remember winning a scrim there once with OP So holding this Holding that's gonna be suicide. We cannot hold that so if you guys if we do get pushed This is like our safe spot right where I'm at where this oh, lift is. I see, yeah, where you are. Yeah, because holding that with no gen is just like it, we just yeah. die yeah. That's what I was talking about earlier. Like, the, I was like, because ideally with Caustic, you want to play indoors. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. You can't hold that track there because you just died in aid spam. Um, again, a lot of people will cry and complain that Watson's ruining the competitive version of this game, when she's really not. She makes this game actually fucking playable in competitive. Because if you don't have Watson, a lot of people don't have, didn't watch scrims back in the day because a lot of the big streamers didn't stream scrims or partake in them. But if you don't have a Watson, let me just run it down what happened. In season one, or season zero too, when you scrimmed with no Watson in the game, a team happened to run up on you because they didn't know you were there because you didn't have any walls up. Uh, they happened to run up on your on your position. Oh shit! Uh, they ran. Oh, they're running away. Oh wait, just kidding. Uh, all of them because they were, everybody was running PK wingman. All of them all of a sudden just start to spam you with fucking nades. PK wingman means one stack of ammo per. Because if you remember, shotgun shells stacked to 64 back then. And then the rest of their fucking inventory was like a battery and some meds, and then it was all nades. It was, you literally get 12, 14 nades thrown at you, and you just die. Please stop with the remove Watson from the game propaganda. She is so much more healthy for the game than you, anyone, than most people actually fucking know. Um, it's crazy. On top of that, the shield economy within the game is greater because of her. You wipe a team with her? Uh, that team has, likely, that team has more shields on their bodies because Watson exists. If you, if you kill a team without a Watson, you're probably not going to get very many shield cells or very many batteries. So, she does a lot for the overall shield economy for the game. 
They just put down gen. I have eyes on the gen. Be ready to gas it, okay? Someone just killed yep. gas. Ooh, they're protecting hard. Rotate, rotate, rotate. I'm gonna pop it, I'm gonna pop it. Yeah, Jen's dead, right? Jen's dead, right? Oh, Jen's dead, yeah. Throw, 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 throw down, throw down, throw down. I'm with you, I'm with you, Seagull. Nice. He bubbled, he bubbled. Play the bubble, Captain. Come inside the bubble and heal. Come inside the bubble and heal. Nice. They pick on hot cheese. I'm batting, I'm batting, I'm batting. Ooh, that guy's one as fuck. <laughs> There's gonna be another team, boys. Yeah, yeah, we're it does, we have yes, to play in the bubble. We have to play in the bubble. What? No one changed him. I didn't hear him. 19, 19 blue. They have a gem. Two on me, 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 two on me behind. So is that yourself, the same team? Yourself. No, that's that's the third party, right? Yeah, this is the third party. I want to get used to using that keybind so much, but I don't think it's allowed technically on land. I want to, I, I want to config that keybind, but I don't, I don't think it's allowed on land. And I don't want to play anything. I don't want to get used to anything that's not allowed on land. Well, bind the drop armor keybind. I'm gonna actually go back because this, I think it seems like the rest of this is just a rat. I want to go back and actually analyze what went wrong here. Uh, but the drop armor keybind is not allowed on LAN only because they don't allow you to edit your config at all on LAN. And in order to drop armor with just a keybind, you have to go through. You have to go through uh, your config to do that. One good fight left. All right, we'll watch it then. No, the spoiler is fine because again, I don't know what's going on. There's no way. Wait, nobody's okay. I was gonna say nobody's down here. That's kind of weird. Ooh. That's actually huge. That's so big. It's not just one point, but you know. Now he gets all this free placement, basically. That was huge. Fucking huge. Now that he gets a lot of free placement, even if he doesn't win. Blue versus gold, man. Let's go, dude. You got this. I mean, this is definitely so winnable. Yeah, exactly. Curtis. Winnable, yep, yep. I am not used to playing in such a stressful environment, but it's definitely a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't even like screamed I, yeah, before at all, have you? Huh? It's certainly. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get. Up hey, you very can't different. Port around? But it's fun, yeah, right? It's can't tell through. me you didn't have that like yeah. competitive high, huh? Because it's a it's a pretty steep hill for sure. I might just have to heal off. I guess I'm gonna do. On this, I don't think there's you no can, way you can in. heal off. I mean, blue. yeah, but I have gold bag. Oh no. shit. Can't. There's no. They're not gonna be alive that long. I, I mean, they're not gonna be dead that long. I mean. Oh, you don't even play ranked? Yeah. I was. I didn't know that. <laughs> play ranked. It's fun. It's sweaty as fuck, but it's fun. I don't know. I'm. I'm a big just competitive player. I'm surprised at how far it's in he wrong, went, dude. Oh, but uh, there's yeah, a there's a team right there. Nice yeah, I mean, there's yeah, literally nothing. Literally yeah, he's not winning that. All right, I'm gonna go back and analyze what though, went wrong dead. here. Yeah. Why did they lose? I mean, they obviously got third party. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to kill the all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll try try you if you have to. We gotta watch our backs too. I think I think the call to fight this is the right call. Um. From there, from uh, and I'm only employing the information they had, obviously, because I think ever, VOD reviewing anything or analyzing anything that's out of uh, that's information you didn't have in the game is pointless. So I think um, the 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 point here to push was decent. They, for the most part, thought that they were free in the back. I don't know where that other team came from behind, but taking this spot is like absolutely what they need to do. I don't think they should have given this up. Uh, Pumagar, thanks for the follow. They just put down gen. I have eyes on the gen. Be ready to gas it, okay? Someone just killed yep. gas. Someone killed gas. I want you to rotate, rotate. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop it. Yeah, gen's dead, right? Gen's dead, right? Oh, gen's dead, yeah. Throw, 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 throw down, throw down, throw down. I'm with you, I'm with you, Seagull. Nice, 
Nice. He bubbled. He bubbled. Play the bubble cap too. Come inside the bubble and heal. Come inside the bubble and heal. I'm in. 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 I'm and it's exactly what needed to happen. It's the third party here. You had to... I think one low-key thing Luke could have done here um, is immediately... I think when he realized he goes down, obviously you gave him the zip, or you? But I think what Luke could have done here was as soon as he saw Seagull... He, Lou was safe in the bubble. As soon as he saw Seagull down, he could have portaled him back up. I think would have been like the very heads up play. But I think Lou was also focused on trying to get his health back up and just trying to play bubble. But the portal was probably the play here. 19, 19 blue. Because you're not, you're not going to use portal here. There's no reason to use portal for the uh, immediate incoming rotation. Um, if anything, you're going to play up here, and if you have to, you'll drop down just like Lou did. But um, I think he had, he, like Seagull obviously should one Seagull shouldn't have fallen down, right? Obviously, he even said I'm all in. <laughs> so I don't know if he did it on purpose or if he actually just fell and then kept playing it. But the, yeah, the, the inherent issue is Seagull falling down. But I think Luke could have saved him with the portal. Two on me, two on me, two on me, two on me, two on me behind. Play for yourself, play for yourself. Oh, that's unlucky. That's the tournament. <laughs> Luke just styled on Drainilla. I didn't even catch that last time, or the first time I was watching it. Luke actually just styled on him so hard. Um, yeah, a couple unfortunate misplays here and there. Um, overall, really strong play. They just, again, it's a match, it's the match point format, so they just didn't win the game. And Seagull obviously falling down was the big bad one. Like, they, they, they bullied this team off the height, which is good. We're coming over. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. really good. If you have to, just go to the low ground. Go to Very the well played. Right but it was yeah, yeah, Seagull yeah. falling that really ultimately fucked them on this one.